Okay, let me set the stage for you. So you get about 10 longtime League of Legends players, put them on teams, and have them fight in the best of 3 series in Dota 2. Then, you take a former actor and a wannabe YouTuber and make them cast the games. Can League players prepare for Dota series in the week? Enjoy the show, and if you want to learn Dota like they did, join the Discord and follow the links in the description. Okay, let's watch the games. Uh, player coaches. <laughs> Gatrix, please introduce yourself and you can introduce your team. Uh, okay, so we are Die Wilden Kerle. We are not an edgy German football team composed of teenagers, but we are an edgy Dota team composed of somewhat mature teenagers or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus. Hopefully we'll uh, win. If not, we'll <laughs> the enemies of something. And uh, I hope everyone has fun. Jeez. <laughs> oh, okay. you, 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 cannot, you cannot set this stuff. Ah! Right? So, my, my my team is uh, an interesting bunch, I will say. Uh, um, we got a uh, we got a dude named Ice Dog that like I don't know I don't know he makes some weird plays all the time. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you, you, so, so it's basically going to place. be a five v four. Is that what I'm hearing? I've coached no, ice dog no, no, before. No, 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 no. I'm kind of scared. You know, to it will be six v five. Like I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. You never know with ice dog. He, he might, he might, he might int. He might, he might. Do yeah, it's it's like a thoughts up. Right? <laughs> is he gonna int or is he gonna play make the plays? It's like I Duracio am or the Quinn. goat. You know, you know, you know what I mean. Like I'd rather you know make play. You know what I'm saying? Van, how about your team? Five brain cells. So, uh, yeah, so we're five brain cells. Um, my team consists of EC, Algechi, Motosurf, uh, Plasechnik. Um, Algechi is the newest out of everyone. Um, Motosurf is a um, substitute from the, D the Dashi. And yeah, we're just here to, to have fun. Yeah, and that's important. I'm really happy you guys are here to have fun. I identify as an ogre magic. You identify? <laughs> so we know what to ban against you, is that right? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. That's a lot, by the way. Zargler, you heard the teams, you heard the players. You, you have any favorites right now? Well, they're still in comm, so we could just like talk straight to their face. I will not put on favorites until I see some good performances, but I do expect. Oh, you're not going to see that. There will be no good performance. I cannot <laughs> tell you. Good performances. Good good performances. You never wrong, activate you're, BKB you're a the single wrong, time uh, in this game. Event here. This is. There's no good performances here. Ah uh, no! Don't don't. Um, <laughs> don't, don't has a cancel yourself name. out yet. I will <laughs> say, but my teams are. I will. I will do my best not to be team psychologist, and I will try to uh, uphold them when they try to fall. All right, mm -hmm. I want to see yeah, good drafting strategies. I want to see counter picks. I want to see uh, targeted <laughs> bans. Make you know what? If you can make somebody rage quit, that's probably a victory, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're ready. It's the... We're ready. Yeah. All right. Game chat one. Best. Game chat two. Best of luck. Best of luck for thank everybody. You. Best of luck, boys. Thank yeah. you, thank you. Twitch chat, I will uh, talk to you guys sparingly. I hope you guys enjoy the show. And we're about to start. I'm, I'm nervous. I'm going to press the start game and shit's going to break. So, uh, oh, it's going to be excellent. Yeah. Everyone <laughs> hold on to your... <laughs> hold oh, on to wait, no, before be I press start ride. game, I got to stream to you. Shit, dude. Hold on. Stream Dota. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, have to see the game. Me. There we go. Don't forget about me. <laughs> uh, yeah, so so I'm also going to switch into the uh, the mini versions of us as well. So that's kind of cool. Uh, for this game, I'm curious to see if Ready there's going to be target back. bans. How quickly the drafts go through? Like, do you think the captains have ideas before oh, they? Even there we start go. Pudge thing? out immediately. So uh, we have some idea going on here. Yeah. I almost, I hope that they've kind of looked at what they like to play on the other side and they're going to be target banning, but I don't know if they have an idea. It's like, hey, what strategy are we going to pick? It's going to be like Legion Commander and uh, Skyrath. Is there a strategy? Who knows? Oh, we're seeing some pretty quick bans right off the front, so there must be some preconceived notions. 
seven seconds. No, I'm sorry, eight seconds. Actually, I meant. All right, thinking about it. Thinking Five about it. Remaining. Hey, he's got two minutes of reserve time. We'll see if he even uh, if they use it up on the. Uh, what were they called? The five brain cells. Evil and curly, I think. No, that's a <laughs> dire side was five brain cells. Radiant is V uh, D. Uh, D. Wilden Curly, I think. Mm hmm. Or you could call them D W K. D W K. Dwick. Ten seconds for <laughs> Ah, now the radiant team is Okay, back. out with the Medusa. Yeah, I mean, they banned I... Anti Mage. They probably are like, oh, maybe they want to play it. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. I'm not speaking. Oh, they want to watch me through the in game. I'll, I am now speaking in game. Uh, yeah. So, I, we're about to see the very first picks coming out. Uh, in just a moment, we're going to have the last ban of this uh, stream. It's, gonna, it's like uh, weird three bands, for four bands. Then it's going to be a pick, then two picks. I don't know. They changed this about like a year or two ago. There's this. I was wondering what the like Luna. Yeah, I was wondering what the carries are going to look like. This is going to be a position one. She's pretty strong right now. Uh, she actually got uh, in the last TI. She had an 80% win rate because she was not balanced around having an ultimate at level six. People have changed how they play her, so they're actually leveling her ultimate much earlier than they're supposed. Like they're used to. It's fascinating. All right, we got uh, we got our centaur here. Big beefy frontliner. I think Centaur is just a solid early pick. You get to click Stampede, run away if things get hairy. Radiant team ban. Can can you talk very quickly? I want to make sure the Discord audio is working. Yep, uh, checking right now. Yep. Okay. Talking, talking. Yeah, it's where it's working All just right. fine. Excellent. Yeah, so it's hard to it's hard to assume what the teams are going to do at this early stage. I don't have any prior record of what <laughs> they've played before. Uh, don't know they're familiar with the game, so it's tough guessing what they're going to pick Ten next. But I'm I'm curious to get some more picks in here so we can see what they're strategizing. I think they have a couple of like uh, an invoker player, a queen of pain spammer. Both which are options still available. Okay, there goes the Viper. Um, With Viper gone, do you think you'll see your favorite top laner? Mm, maybe, maybe. I am a big fan of Bristleback. <laughs> yeah. I I hope to see Bristle. It'd be interesting to start with no real stuns. Uh, but Bristleback right now, I've watched pro games. They're flexing him in this mid lane. They're flexing him as a support. I'm so confused. Like, I think only the pros can do that. Silencer. Silencer. So you okay. have like two global ultimates already coming out. You stampede. You silence. Is that the, just the plan? Turn off everybody's <laughs> abilities and just run at them? <laughs> I mean, the team fight potential is starting to look pretty strong here. Ten seconds remaining. Radiant team pick. Uh. Oh, <clears throat> Ooh, OD. Destroyer. Haven't. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that pick? I think that OD is going to be the mid laner. He is just obnoxious because he keeps putting you inside of his little cage over remaining. and over. But I think that if they're not coordinated, an OD can I save an enemy or do an ally. So we're going to see if OD just like stuns the their friends. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested, yeah. I, I, I feel like if, is this going to be like, is it going to be an Ice Dog OD? If Ice Dog plays OD, I think he's going to stun allies and save enemies. No, if it's anyone, <laughs> it's kidding. Uh, we'll see how it works out. So it's just like global ults versus a global heal. I like the different counters there in the sniper yeah, this pick. this is very interesting. I think it's going to be sniper versus OD mid. Just a pretty high octane power like fight there. Yeah, I'm going to be gunning for sniper on winning that lane, but you never know. Five seconds remaining. Yeah, sniper. He's he was nerfed recently, but I don't know if it was enough. Phoenix. Choice with Phoenix. So they're showing both supports already on uh, the five brain cells. Uh, Phoenix, very good at just slowing enemy attack speed and healing ally tanks. And they have an ally tank, so at least they got that for going from. 
It's a lot of magic damage coming from uh, five brain cells. Uh, the other side is just got like some physical, some pure. There's their magic. I feel like right now, uh, D uh, what was the <laughs> Dwoop D W P is a lot hey. more mixed damage <laughs> than five brain cells. It is. We are seeing quite a difference here. Um, Tree is going to give them some nice vision. They've got a nice presence, uh, but I'm really seeing the team fight potential on uh, five brain cells. Yeah, five brain cells, team fight potential. Silence, charge in, ulti with Phoenix. That seems really strong. Like, if you don't have a saving support or two, it's going to be tough. Maybe the yeah. ulti is actually going to be the support. Because you can save allies with you Astral Imprisonment. Good. Yeah, or That'll put over. tiny mid. It's hard to decide. <laughs> They've yeah, also, well, I'm excited. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, they've also banned Viper on uh, five brain cells, but they haven't picked anyone with really strong like uh, passives. May maybe Sniper, but that's about it. Everyone else is just an active hero. So maybe they just feel like they can't play against Viper. Viper is a huge lame bully. Yeah, trying to think. If I were to round out these teams, which who would I put in? What do you think, Zar? Well, Radiant still needs a proper offlaner, someone that can tank in frontline for them. Uh, Dyer is keeping their position one hard carry as their last pick. Dazzle ban. Look, what is all this poison stuff? Look at this. Viper band, Dazzle band. Uh, are they just hoping for burst damage instead of damage over time? They're not going to pick anyone with, like, cleanses. Ten seconds remaining. Mm -hmm. but yeah. Time Who do you want to see for remaining. Radiant? Someone that can counter Luna. They still... Nobody's picked Troll Warlord yet. I feel like Troll could be really fun here. Uh, but someone that doesn't get just uh, peaked off. Unless snipers, they're hard carry. They, we could see a sniper carry and someone else going mid instead. We could. That'd be interesting. But I don't think that's what we are going to see here. Mm-hmm. It's hard to know. Hard to know until we see it. <laughs> well, they still have 30 seconds of reserve time. They're using up their, all of their reserve time just for a ban. They still have time to pick a... Ah! They still got to pick afterwards. Well, they're uh, trying to win out that lane. If they can make that guess correctly, uh, they could really throw them on that last pick. <laughs> uh, Twitch that says, it's a Phoenix carry mid-centaur offlane sniper. You know, I would be there for that. I would be very much there for that. Hey, that's what we're casting. <laughs> that's what we're casting. For everyone coming in before this draft finishes, thank you so much for coming to this uh, Twitch channel. Hope you're enjoying the show. Earthshaker, yeah. wait, is this going to be Illusion? They immediately banned Illusions. They were ready for that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Okay. How quick was that final ban? That was real fast. Time now for the Dyer team to choose. That was Husker, premeditated. Oh, okay, so it's... Is that their offlane? Is Tiny their offlaner? They, they don't have a proper tank. They got a couple of bruisers and this global heal. OD, this is, we, this is, even this when is we what see I'm the talking players, about. we won't be able to guess about. the lanes. <clears throat> we are looking at a proper noob versus noob lineup here. <laughs> Thanks I for mean, reminding me. I forgot it for a second. <laughs> drow ranger. And a Drow Ranger. That's your carry. All so, right. Wait, so they're just going to have one unreliable stun and everybody else just runs at you. Look at the... The five brain cells, do they even have that many on their team? <laughs> <laughs> this will be very interesting, very interesting. We've got some pretty good range and engage from our bottom team here. I'm, I, you know, this is an interesting lineup. It's a very interesting lineup. Vantage point, dying line. I'm looking at all of the facets to see if anything interesting has been picked up. Uh, the one I can see here is uh, Train Protector went for sampling, so he's going to be planting trees that deal damage to all enemies nearby. And Tiny went for crash landing, so his damage from the mid lane, I'm guessing, or maybe a support, is going to be way higher, but he's going to have no right clicking or tanking capability. 
it's going to be very interesting. All right, and we're off. Can I remember my hotkeys? <laughs> Radiant hasn't even left their base yet. Dire, also uh, people on. stuck in base. Smoke and a seat coming from Radiant. They're going to rush mid, probably to plant a ward. Maybe they're going to gank from one of the rune slots. Zargoy, do you think there's going to be first blood before the runes even spawn here? Hmm. Let's see. I think I think there's always that possibility. You can see the stream okay? Yep, yep. We're Sweet. doing good. They're just avoiding each other. Suddenly, the Dyer is going to be placing one sentry. Oh, they're going to catch Morosov. Morosov's oh, AFK? No, come on. AFK? Come on. Ah, oh, come on, Morosov. Run, run, run. He and has to level silence as well. Run. Poor guy. <laughs> oh, my He's not going to have any lane presence with that ability. That was not a good start. That was not a good start. It's like Dire, I mean Radiant, already starting out with First Blood. They had an idea with that Smoke of Deceit. They knew what they were doing. Oh no, That's Luna, she play. went for the rune. Luna's out, Luna's out. Uh, Courage, it starts now. Ice Dog on the carry Luna wants to 1v2 the rune. Doesn't work out. At least she has a train protector. She's, she's going to be healed up before the lanes actually crash. So it could have been worse. Could have been worse. They recovered well. Sniper's going to be mid. Versus OD. Uh, and also Phoenix. Oh, Phoenix is teleporting. Right, so we oh. were right about the sniper OD middle. I'm curious to see how annoying OD and sniper is. It's like the two most annoying people just sharing a lane. I hate playing against either of these in the lane. I feel like it never yeah. works out for me. I usually, I usually, if I had to choose one, I'd probably pick OD just because sniper's range and uh, uh, shrapnel shots just get pretty annoying. Yeah, especially since they've buffed how much damage the sniper's shrapnel can do uh, in burst. He is going to be using the nuke damage talent, so he's not going to have that much damage over time on sniper, but his full to zero potential come level 4, level 5 is going to be insanely high. Matching each other for the last hits pretty well in middle lane, so it's looking pretty even at the moment. Uh, I can see, so we have three for six. So right now, Sniper's got twice as many last hits. Oh, oh up top, up top, up top. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Huskar diving the tower, almost gets a kill on uh, Morosov. Gets turned around, but of course Morosov, he has Gust, so he wasn't in too much danger. It's just he also isn't the danger. Just one of those who's gonna die first situations. Right now, Huskar yeah. just desperately needs level 2. He is... <laughs> he is one experience off from level 2 and starting to stack up that health regeneration per second. Okay, he's got level 2 on Huskar. Okay, I'm actually really big, and they can't kill me after level 3. Yeah, so it's gonna be precisioning mid. Yeah, Sniper is doing exactly what I had expected. Just, uh, winning just up poke. that middle lane. Uh-huh. Oh, well, up top, uh, is Drow Ranger gonna get the kill? Oh, Harold, he's getting chased down. Level 2, Drow oh, Ranger finally has out. a slow level, so she can dish out some damage. Well, uh, there we and go, I redeeming up that early game. Looks like Van landed all of his spirits as well. Great damage output from the level 2 power spike of Draw Ranger. It's pretty well done. Pretty well done. Tiny's still recovering. He did level his tree throw, so he's got a, some easy har uh, harass and deny potential. Trying. Going for that uh, healing lotus. We're going to see that it's going to be a one healing lotus a team. He's a little bit too late for that. Sniper doing a good job taking up those runes. 
Phoenix yeah, trying to freeze lane. the lane, but he's got a facet that does damage to enemies nearby, so it's really difficult. Morosov just getting poked away. So Herald of Thunder, this lane is just going to be about poking each other out of lane and hoping for the best. Sniper is absolutely dominating on the last hits and denies there. Look at that, 16 to 10. Yeah, well played to see. Oh, he got trapped. He's going to take a little bit of damage here from the creeps. No, he takes almost one hit. Doing a pretty good job evading that. How are we doing on bottom? Bottom lane seems about as uneventful as you can imagine. We have Ice Dog just trying to last hit as best as he can. And Silencer is poking away. This is this is all Silencer can do. And it feels like no matter how much you poke, you just have a Trim Protector healing you constantly. Uh, what are you supposed to do against this? Yeah, I mean, just hold the lane as much as you can until you need it elsewhere, I suppose. Wait, tr uh, Phoenix is ganking mid. He's going to secure the runes. Though, neither of these players have picked up a bottle, so nobody cares about the runes. <laughs> it's kind of funny. He's got the right idea, though. I love it. We'll see if Drow Ranger can handle herself without him. All right, they've secured both water runes and dire. All right, let's take a look. What else do we have going on here? Oh. Tiny trying to go on the Phoenix doesn't really get in range. I think he actually was, but he didn't want know what ability he wanted to click. Oh, D, something you'll never see. He's out of mana. It's okay, he can regenerate pretty quickly. I mean, it's not a lost lane yet for OD. OD can still return from this. Absolutely. Starting to I catch feel like... up in those last hits. Yeah. Doing good OD... there. OD has a lot more potential on ganking than Sniper. I feel like Sniper might just not leave the lane for a while. OD taking damage? Oh, it's just Sniper da nukes. You know, if OD were to rotate top and help out the top lane, that would probably be an effective maneuver. Um, they are struggling quite a bit against the... Uh... He's got six, Drow so Phoenix he has combo. the potential for burst damage. Nope, oh, missed out that last hit. Oh, Huskar yep. getting jumped by Morosov Completely again! Out. Like I said, it's what I was saying. Herald of Thunder! To More like Herald. <laughs> <laughs> Herald of Blunder. Sorry. Herald of Blunder. That's funny. Tiny trying to just do everything he can to survive in the lane while Harold responds and comes back into the lane. It's going to be level 3, level 4. Oh, we got the stun off, but I don't think it's going to be secure. No toss, and their attack speed, they're just hugging each other, sharing the attack speed slow from Van. They're just taking Toss onto all, Harold, but it might have actually killed Harold instead of Morosov. Oh no, this is bad, this is bad. What are you doing? <laughs> oh, are they going to secure Tiny, both? you just killed oh, your might. friends, they and might. you're going to pay they the might. price. With it iron, is a it's gonna be the massacre. iron price. The massacre up top. More so, Absolutely. after that first getting just jumped AFK next to the rune, totally recovered here. Yeah, absolutely redeemed. Top of the net worth, Silencer falling up second. Only seven minutes into the game and already looking at a one to four, so it's been a nice active game so far. But I especially like keeping our tabs up on that top. Seven line. minutes, we it's actually had a fight for the wisdom runes on one side. On the other, Ooh. they forgot wisdom runes existed. Yep, yeah. oh, tree's been caught by silencer. How is that gonna play out? I think they're just gonna punch at each other until one of them dies. Uh -oh. Is it going uh, to be Oh my god, Man, he gets himself denied by neutral creep! Oh, what? I got denied. Oh, this is so fucking good. Just gets himself denied. He's going to respawn with full health and mana and ready immediately to join the fight. On the top lane, Drow Ranger took some uh, beating from uh, Tiny. Wait. Luna just got ganked by Sniper? Sniper did the first gank even though OD is already level 7. He has not left the lane yet. Oh, Amazing you know, shit. That pressure, that, that pressure you feel when you're losing out on the lane and you feel, you know, that maybe I should stay here a little bit longer. Maybe I should uh, <laughs> try and win, you know. It's that sunk cost. <laughs> you have to say, you have to say, hey, this isn't going well for me. Maybe I should change up my strategy. Maybe this double damage uh, is going to change it up. Picks up double oh, damage. Yep, starts go. roaming top. Sniper instead going to stay in mid. 
And the Phoenix, he went to secure the rune, but the rune was not secured. The sniper right, did not so leave the lane. let's see if they can catch Drow out. Can, will Drow... Who's going to be the initiation? I want to see Tiny throw Herald of Thunder. Morosov gets and... nuked full to zero. It just takes two hit from OD. And all of the nukes coming out from Tiny do their job. OD goes bit. Does use the town portal scroll, doesn't miss a beat, but does miss two last hits. Phoenix, for that rune rotation, you're gonna sacrifice the Drow Ranger. That's a good noob worthy trade. <laughs> Izzy still poking away at the OD. That extra attack range really come into play. Another rotation coming up. Nope, he's just checking for the runes, even though the rune was already picked up. <laughs> Now Phoenix can at least farm up a little bit solo, as I think Drow Ranger said, fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh, he's not gonna jungle, he's gonna go back to lane. Drow already with Power Treads, Wraith Band, going for Yasha. Nine minutes in, very well farmed. Luna still lagging behind, has a Mask of Madness completed. So Luna, if so choosing, could go jungle. Ask her ultimate level, so she is pretty strong right now. Uh, yeah, Huskar is also jungling. They're definitely really not having a good time. Tire at this part in the game. Yeah, this is not good. Not good. We've got Tree who's lagging behind uh, at the moment. We've got some pretty good coordination up top. Um, oh, speaking of up top, Tree ganking top lane. He has free tree pathing, so he can go straight behind Morozov. Morozov doesn't right. know this is happening. There's no ward behind. All right, Red Mist, see if he can pull this off. Morozov actually diving closer to the enemy Huskar, who dies off screen. Apple oh, not man. able to save his oh, friend. Oh, tree's going to get caught out. With too three late here. to the party. Nope, this is not good. This is not good. His, oh, he wanted to gain, lane. but his team was not ready. Man. Well, it's also the positioning's tough there when you're up that high and your team is being pushed away. It's just... Tiny just throwing Avalanche for the funsies. Phoenix getting nuked by two. He has a Urn of Shadows completed, so he can very quickly heal himself if he so chooses. And we're also looking at a pretty big level difference at this point in the game between uh, the Dire and Radiant top. So that's going to be a tough thing for them to pull. Centaur has level 3, so we can see Stampede in the next fight. Speaking of... Treant is still up here. He wants to make something happen. OD ganking again through the uh -huh. Twin Gates. They're... But they're backing up. Oh, will they OD, catch them? OD, Astral Imprisonment to start. Treant... Oh, silence! Oh, slow. Gotta be a Trian little bit quicker. protected the slow. Is it enough? Astral Imprisonment. The Phoenix oh, nice. Egg goes in. Treant, too late on the ultimate, <laughs> and All right, we're gonna see they're going to still go for this. <laughs> OD drops the hammer, oh. Tiny makes a rotation as well, wow. gets a toss off, two for zero. Treant, just in there, enough for the nature's grasp, slow to set that up, and then tanks everything on the way out. That was good, they definitely needed that, that evens the score out just a bit more. That puts OD in second place. Oh my god, oh, Astral Prism to steal the rune. That was There's great. no sentries ready as well, so this is just gonna be a free walk Radiant away. This won't be pretty. OD they is definitely coming back. Well done. Well done. He's still 500 like off from Izzy. Izzy could scale as a second carry. Huskar, you've been jungling more than fighting enemy heroes. Hopefully he doesn't kill himself. He doesn't have a facet that Burning Spear that just insta-kills you, but he could drop himself too low. OD took a, just a quick hit. And Huskar on the other side? Is it going to be Huskar? Is it going to be Tiny? Who's going to be die for... No, they're going to get out. They're going to get out. Triant oh, is except... there to prepare, protect his friends. Apes together strong. And then I want you to farm this side of the jungle because I'm going to roam a bit. Guys, be careful. Be careful. You're, you're playing without a ward. Rush. I want you to ward here. OD, if you walk up, you're gonna get nuked full to zero in a single combo. And that might just happen. OD, if he gets within range, okay. Silencer might just ulti him. 
100 health? Watch out for that snolt. Watch out for that ult. I'm um, dumb. There it is. And yeah. because he used Aster and plays him into F aggressively, he didn't have it defensively. Meanwhile, Huskar. Oh, he's just dying to the gauge. And it's like <laughs> How do you feel whenever you're playing against Sniper? This just happens, right? He this just ultis happens, you because he's got right? mana. Like I said, if I had to choose, if I had to choose, am I going to be facing off against a Sniper or am I going to be facing off against an OD? I would rather take the OD. Like I'd rather take Sniper and OD instead of Huskar. I, I hate going up against that. <laughs> sniper? Phoenix keeps roaming bot middle to help the Sniper. Sniper's like, ah, I'm okay. Phoenix? Going on Huskar? Huskar, he's got plenty of levels in his regeneration, so he's gonna have the attack speed. Gonna kill the Phoenix second before anything happens. Oh, Huskar, man. level 4 on the regeneration. They just don't have the DPS fighting. to go through it. Sniper also makes a rotation top. Tiny it's taking some enough. damage. Not gonna be enough. OD coming Everybody's up. Everybody's up here. OD running ahead. Can he Astro and Pism? He's got more movement speed than Sniper. Sniper? Is he gonna get caught out? Oh, oh how OD far stops is OD gonna commit? It's not gonna be Nope! We have Oh no Treant, nice, OD, Sniper. Nice drop. Nice drop tree. Tiny with the stuns to well fit, to help set it up. And then the drop of the hammer again. Smoke it to see immediately a return back top lane. We're going to see a rotation. This is going to be a fake back. Huskar, he's still farming the jungle. But what are they rotating on? Nobody's in here. Like, Morisov already left the lane. He's like, fuck this shit, man. I really don't want to play. Look at uh, Radiant. They're going to nope, go smoke and see. They're, they're going to hunt down Morisov. Morisov, he doesn't know this yeah. is happening. Huskar jumps in. Life break. Morisov already used his Come silence. On, you are out. Wow. He's be gonna be silent all the way to the grave. That was excellent coordination by the radio. What a team. rotation! A fake back to mate into a smoke of deceit going top. You can tell that the silence taking out taking out both of their top players at the Luna moment. dies off Very screen well while we were looking at top lane. Uh, Silencer uses his ultimate to make sure Luna cannot click hers. Enemy has vision bottom rune. No, they they sure do. Good call out. So I guess Luna was trying to farm the jungle, but got farmed instead. Oh, he got, uh, Huskar's gonna die up top. <sighs> Huskar dies top. He figures out that uh, enemy heroes are more powerful than the, uh, the jungle he's been going for. So the well, is a Huskar up against Drow Ranger. Eventually Drow's gonna get an Aghanim Scepter, which gives her anti-heal. And Huskar's just gonna become a ranged creep at that point. What do you think? Timing's gonna be important on that one. Well, I especially think with uh, Husker's current obsession with jungling, and it doesn't matter if it's their side or the opponent's side, it's just one and take down those range creeps. I think Husker's misunderstanding who the actual enemy is. <laughs> I like that Phoenix was trying to heal Agichi, but Agichi was dodging the healing rate. Maybe he thought it was an enemy ability, who knows. Both supports from the Radiant already bottom lane, and they're gonna go on the support silencer. Can silence or click his Fire buttons? Edge. Greater healing salve, magic one, neither one clicked. He dies in uh, the greed of holding onto his items for too long. So they get a little bit out of this, the two supports in the safe lane, but it is forcing Luna to just AFK in the jungle for a little bit. So we're gonna have a jungler on both sides. Phoenix, he's gonna be hunting. Another smoke gank from the sniper. Can they get anything out of the sniper? Uh, Phoenix. Goes on Luna, everybody clicks all their buttons. What an overgrowth from Treant. Wow. Stopping everything and saving his friend. Oh. No, the Maelstrom oh, rocks. Man. The Maelstrom that rocks from Sniper. Lucky. He hit the Treant and it brocked off of him, killing oh Luna nearby. Gosh. OD going in at the end of the fight, one versus four. Oh Might be a bit too Go late run, though. Run, run. Oh, He's gonna OD's die, oh run. nope. It's nope, going to no be Tiny stunning everybody, there. so it's yeah. going to be a two versus four. But OD caught out a little bit too late. That overgrowth was beautiful, but the Luna just did not run away fast enough. Dice to the lightning prox, man. That was an insane... Good, good plays from both teams. That was wow. also the Phoenix's egg, so they don't have egg for a minute. Maybe the Radiant team can take advantage of the timing. Van, don't forget, he is actually the captain making these calls, which is why he's part of so many ganks. He's been roaming mid, roaming top. You can tell these guys are on comms. 
If you want to hear the cons of the game, they'll be edited into the YouTube version of this video. That will In be fun to see. Regeneration from Sniper, he's gonna get all of his mana back, so those rotations basically free. OG versus Sniper, it's like the mid lane hasn't ended. He's gonna Astral Imprisonment early, which means he doesn't have it to defend himself. Sniped. No! The cancel! Tiny being in the right place at the right time cancels Sniper's ultimate with his stun. And Treant just says, fuck you. Two punches, Sniper has enough of it. Well played. Dude, if not for Tiny canceling Sniper as Assassinate, we would have seen either one more kill there. These, this is so close. Nine to twelve at twenty minutes. I am, I have to say, impressed. This is going very well. The core team coordination has been quite fun to see. There's been a lot of great back and forth. Uh, the captains are doing a wonderful job and bringing their teams together. Look, bottom. Yeah, we've got Van here leaning with this smoke. Yeah, he, you can tell this guy's the captain, and they find him. Wow. Wow. Nice talk. Wrong Nicely place, buddy. They knew played. you were getting, they were, you were going to be farming the jungle in the bottom here. They had a plan. Smoke of Deceit coming out from Van. Van, the man with a plan. His team of five brain cells growing a sixth. Amazing. This guy's got two. <laughs> and they're going to use this rotation. Easy uh, tower kill. Don't forget, they have a Drow Ranger strat, so the towers are going to be dying very quickly, being killed by Drow Ranger. That attack range. Uh, also, Drow Ranger, she is comboed with Phoenix and with Silencer. The right clicks from the two supports aren't going to be messing around with. They have a Drow Ranger uh, to buff them up. Sniper with the assassination, though, he just denies the rune. He doesn't want to fight Trian for it. They have vision of that. Both teams this, are pretty equal in their vision. Look uh, at this game spot. Yeah. Four people getting ready for a smoke that nobody has, but I think one person has purchased. It's on the courier. We have no Dragon Lance. So, Sniper, Maelstrom, Dragon Lance. What are the uh, the uh, the items looking like? Huskar completed his armlet, but I feel like Ice Dog. He's just not having a good time right now. He's been farming, but getting ganked over and over. One and four on the carry from the Radiant. Ice Dog, Luna. They did first pick, so they got countered. Mid lane, a rotation again? Can they catch anyone? No, they just feed some wards away and back up. The Radiant, ready with the sentry, immediately D ward that ganking ward they were trying to use here. So again, back on the items. OD, standard Witchblade, Null Talisman. We're not gonna see two Null Talismans anymore as they're gonna be ban uh, they've been nerfed. But you can see that Tiny and Huskar, they're trying to both share the load of tanking. They don't have a proper offlane tank. So it's going to be part of the support's job to do a little bit of that himself. Uh, Phoenix, a spirit vessel completely finished. So some anti-heal coming out against the Huskar. Huskar, he's been hitting creeps. Phoenix, he's been hitting heroes. You can tell the difference in the farm there. Well, while we were looking at the items, Dyer went and took their tormentor. Uh, nice little play there. On spawn, very quickly. Thanks for pointing that out. Uh, Sniper, Maelstrom, Mask of Madness, Draw Ranger, already completed the Axe. So they have Axe Scepter, Spirit Vessel, no healing. Speaking of healing, <laughs> the Radiant were dying and I <laughs> I thought they were dying to a Like I cannot see much when this has popped up. Uh, but oh, they're yep, stacking the anti-heal. Yeah, they killed the Tormentor, Treant got a free shard, so they're going to have some invisibility to scout and gank with. They're going to need that. They're going to fall behind if they don't keep up. I, <laughs> what, a word, what a word salad. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, thank you. Tsar Potato, Tsar, thank you so much. They're going to fall behind if they don't pay, if, keep up. OD uh, farming the top lane. Sniper, he is being surrounded by two. He doesn't want to walk up. Rule of thumb, never cross the riverlet alone. Blue's just watching from the sidelines. You can see this gank squad is really into just being together right now. 
Sniper, overgrowth, will it be used to set up for the Tiny? No, they're just going to walk around. Tiny does have a shield rune, so he could dive the tower if he wishes, but chooses not to get too close and personal. You never know who's going to teleport in. They're still within one screen distance. OD looking for the Phoenix. Phoenix dives away. OD with the Blink Dagger. Phoenix, can you wow. use the OD before he comes clean? Nice OD. He ulti right, sniper's, sniper's next to him. Up. Starts sniper's killing up. Silencer's oh OT. No overgrowth to save. No sniper's tiny stuns this time around. Tiny has a Shadow Blade complete instead of a Blink Dagger, so they're going to be behind a little bit. But that rotation so deep under Not. vision, but it was the radiant vision as well. They were just really set up closely. You can see that they're they're within one screen. If you take a look at the minimap, Dire, they oh are very goodness. close to each other. They know that the Radiant is desperate for a rotation, but it's going to be Luna once again getting rotated on. She's going to back up. No, yep, she's going to back up. She knows that they're coming. Sniper, they're already setting up. And it's going to be the top tier one tower. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Ogre, how do you th feel like the rotation's coming out from Van's coordination? Another smoke speaking of and no, Phoenix, uh, uh, Train Protector, do they have any detection on the uh, Dire side? They have some sentries, so they could kill for, go for this Train, but they decide to use smoke looking for bigger fish. Who's gonna die next? Man, the lead on Dyer's team is just starting to be a bit obnoxious here. Van is really doing a good job leading his team here. Um, they're going to come around here and just take Blink's out Tiny. done no on hope. Centaur. Agichi no sets that up. Everybody just right clicks. There's no need for any really crowd control if you just have enough just no out of vision. Centaur with the Blink reveal there, I think. He's going to have Blink, Blade Mail. No, he's got to Blink for a little while. Veil of Discord making that play and killing the support. That does going to buy a little bit of time for his friend, the Huskar, to farm up, though. We're going to see he's got a BKB complete. So he's got BKB, Armlet, Power Treads, Double Bracer. He's going to be pretty tanky. He's going to go for the uh, Heaven's Halberd, trying to slow down that attack damage from the enemy side. There's so many right clicks. They'll need more than this. If you were playing on the Radiant right now, what do you think is the one thing they need to come back from this? Vision! I feel like they're fighting under, like, they need to split and farm, but be ready to teleport out, blink out, get that vision going, and have the support Treant use his invisibility to scout. Right now, Treant is pushing the offlane. He should just be inside of the entrances on the dire side, so Smokes of Deceit get broken on him. And he's a sacrifice so his teammates don't die. He's the position 5 and he's playing the, like the position 3 instead. Tiny, he's finished up an Aghanim's Shard, a Shadow Blade. He really wants to scale as a core. Another Smoke Gank. Phoenix, the 5 Brain Cells, they are not letting up. They're gonna crash into Trent. This is what I mean. Trent eats the Aghanim, sorry, the uh, Smoke of Deceit. Oh, good and silence. is going to die They're for it, but his teammates... Wait. Is Huskar going to nope. go back in? No, he chooses not to. He has a BKB, no, but, it was but he's not going to click Phoenix it before he's going to die full zero before he gets to click anything. If you don't lose your use your ability, you lose it. Tiny watches from the sidelines like a voyeur as his two friends die. I think that his Trian Protector, great positioning, but Huskar, he gets that mentality of save your friends, not recognizing... He's got to sacrifice friends. You can't, uh, what is it? You can't win a game of Dota without breaking a few friends. <laughs> Alright, we're going to go for the Roshir. Roshan's going to be jumped. This should be a pretty easy Roshan with the Fire Spirit slow from Phoenix. That Roshan's not going to get any attack speed going. Look at that. Once every 10 seconds. Yeah, this is just easy. Who's gonna pick it up? Sni Sniper? He's already just like uh, removed his Wraith Band. He's gonna take this. Uh, I don't think Sniper's even getting jumped that much. Take a look at the no. net worth. Moroso has actually eclipsed the Sniper. Wait, what? They've changed their minds. Who's gonna take it? Oh, Centaur. It's gonna be Centaur. Right. They decided yes. Sniper, he's not dying. So Centaur's gonna be in front. Two lives to spare, 2.6k. That's the 5,000 health 
they have to clear it before they can kill the centaur. Hey, it's a it's a it's a logical play. Get your tokens, guys. Get your tokens. Let's take a look at the net worth graph. It's been very heavily on the radiant from experience, but the dire are ahead in gold. It's because the dire are basically really close to each other and they're taking every team fight, but the radiant haven't stopped farming. You can see that. Most of the game, they've been ahead in XP, and they're gonna catch back up. Radiant side, really good at splitting the map. Look at that. You can see it. Good point. Second by second, the Radiant are getting way more experience than the Dire. The Dire, they're all hugging each other, sharing that experience. It might be an XP difference eventually. Who's gonna win, items or levels? It's the age-old I mean, question, out. Dota. Yeah, you're looking at Ice Dog and Herald, you know, they've both hit 17, and the only person who's hit 17 on their team is Sniper. So, like that, is, that is a really good point. Sniper, can, he's already even level 18. So this is going to be a, the only max uh, level ultimate on their team. When they have so many ultimates, they want no, to max out. Silencer, Centaur, nobody's been split bride. farming. Everybody's been split fighting. And Drow Ranger finished the, ba the Black King bar before completing a Yasha item, going for the Manta style next. And on the other side, Luna already finished her Manta style, going for the Black King bar. So very similar idea from these two carries, and it's yeah. going to be about who, you know, which one prevails, the Manta or the BKB. BKB almost we finished with Luna. She's probably going to have it before the next fight, and then she's going to get ganked. Phoenix already, Van leading the charge, trying to kill this Luna. They've killed her here before. Luna's gonna send an illusion. Maybe she's gonna bait with the illusion. Oh, they know it's fake. Oh, they see both. Fucking yeah. a, dude. Good thing I left. I have few time. You know that you yep. saw the stall. You saw the stall right there. They they did stall. They're like, is it real? Is it fake? I guess it's fake. They're gonna keep chasing. This is really that you can an expensive seconds. five man rotation though. Look at this. Look at the net worth graph. They haven't farmed for the past 30 seconds. Yeah, they did a really good job making space, building up levels, building up the team, slowing down the enemy. But it's again, you really have to watch these anchoring biases. If there's a strategy that's working for you in Dota, it will work for a little bit. But the second Phoenix that with the to change, dust of appearance, thinking maybe there's an invisible enemy nearby, that's why we can't see any enemies. But their, their rotation, it's going to result into a dead tower. Eventually, they'll try to starve out Radiant Team, maybe the five, uh, the DW, what was that? <laughs> what were the names? DWK. DWK. DWK, if they don't come back to defend this, it's going to be an early tier three tower, Drow Ranger, Cypher, and the Siege Creep. This is going to be faster than they can defend. Uh, Radiant Team deciding not to defend. They're going to try and push mid middle, instead. Yeah. Is this going to be a base race? It is a base race. Yeah, but the Radiants are already on their on your... Uh... Oh, oh no, this is not going to be a base race. They're coming back. Pew Pew from Silence, uh, sorry, from Sniper, out of range. Huskar. No, they looked at it, they are looking at this They defend saying, the base. They, they threaten the tier 3, everybody from Dire side teleports out or walks away because, you know, Drow Ranger doesn't have a TP scroll yet. And they, and they actually defend out, it. Still took out the ranged barracks. They took out the ranged barracks, but the melee one, the one so important, is still there. So, really, a uh, five-head play here from uh, DWK to try and cause some chaos. And, and they are eating into the lead. It's been four, between four and 5,000 net worth difference for the past 15 minutes. So if they don't catch up on the Radiant, they're going to have a late game Luna, who, if she gets a couple more items, it just might be unstoppable. Yeah, Luna just hit, Luna's at 18. We've got a sniper at 19, so they're really gaining on it. It's, it's coming close. Buyback status, nobody saving for it. Uh, actually, some of the ra the Dire are saving a little bit of the Radiant. Uh, just just the Treant. But these might come into play if there's another Siege before it's over. Sniper, dying to s just jungle creeps. But he's got uh, Mask of Madness, he'll be just fine. Alright, D-Wilder going for the Tormentor. Second Tormentor. 
Huskar doesn't die, not even close. And Herald of Thunder, he's under farm, so he's gonna get his free Aghanim Shard. This is gonna Guys, give them a, uh, a little bit of a slow and a little bit of a heal. But he's going up against two anti-healers, and there's already five Spirit Vessel charges left on this Phoenix. So this there's not gonna be any healing done if they can click their buttons quickly. Luna still trying to farm up that uh, uh, that butterfly, but she's showing that she's gonna buy a butterfly with a talisman evasion. This might be a really quick monkey king bar from the dire side. Actually, draw range doesn't even need it. Uh, draw range is passive, ignores most evasion. So butterfly. As a defensive tool, Draw Ranger already counters it. So this is going to be some uh, not so heads up itemization. They might not know the full mechanics of Draw Ranger playing against to it uh, against it this time yeah. around. It's like if they're trying to go for the damage, there are some other options that would probably be a bit better here. Yeah. Phoenix having a pipe of insight. The ra uh, the dire are not going to have a good time. Uh, sorry, they're going to have a really good time against all the magic damage coming out from Huskar and from Tiny. We'll see how the pure damage from OD, remember OD also has a BKB completed. So if this guy is allowed to stand still and hit and not get crowd controlled by the sniper and by the Phoenix. Oh my god, it's a smoke into smoke. Oh. Phoenix gets to jump front in the front. Nice move. A silencer right. oh, immediately BKB. ults BKB. to try and make space, but they can't. Sniper walks in to jump out, but he's in just the wrong spot. And look at that gold. Wow. What a smoke rotation from Radiant. It was really wow. quick. I couldn't tell, man. And the and gold exactly what, was a thousand gold difference. Exactly what you were saying, you know, if they just keep on up with that rotation and little grouping up together and taking on those team fights, the other team's just going to out-experience them. And if they just need it, they just need one good play. And that was it. Somehow um, OD keeps chasing and dies in the end, doesn't click his Black King bar. Uh, t <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Captains, I hope you guys have some choice words to say. Uh, you guys can TT if you want. <laughs> no one hears me. Oh, I don't even know how to say it in chat. Uh, this maybe all chat? You guys, you can TT if... Uh, if you want to. So they should be able to see this. Uh, if not, maybe they're too focused. This is, there's a light on the line, a lot on the line. Uh, one of the players, he's decided, Titty. <laughs> uh, one of the players has said they wanted to draw a poster to commemorate Audi TT. And maybe they didn't know that it means trash talk. I'm gonna leave it as is though. Uh, so the winning team will get a little poster banner kind of deal and they're going to get very temporary Discord roles. I've already set up the Discord role. It's the champion role. The team that wins this best of two, I think the players wanted to do it, or at least the best of one, are going to be champions in the Discord for a bit. Radiant really catching up. It's been a it's a 2k gold difference. Zargler, they've really caught up. It's 36 minutes. It really did. It really did. It's been a great game so far. The teams are evenly matched. We've seen some nice back and forth between the different competitors here. Uh, wonderful calls made. Just man, this is this is good. This is good. This is what you want from a good game of Dota. You know, you don't need to be pros to enjoy a game. You just need teams that are evenly matched, and it really makes all the difference. <laughs> I guess best of two, best of one is the same thing. Huskar, BKBs, can he teleport out before his BKB runs out? No, he's just going to walk it off. Radiant, uh, Dire, five brain cells. They feel pretty happy. They popped Huskar's BKB. He's not going to have anything for the next fight. And they're already setting up for the next Roshan. But it's too early, Zargler. It hasn't spawned for uh another one minute. Yeah, we need that. They'll sooner. probably need to you know, leave somebody in here to check when the spawns will happen. Who's going to be the sacrifice? I, It'll be Agichi. And we're seeing nope, the nobody. same pattern again and again where Van is doing his best to try and group his team together and see if they can get any pickups. But, you know, DWK is starting to learn, starting to learn from this that, hey, 
we need to spread out a little bit more. We need to watch out. We need better vision. Uh, they've been getting that experience, which is really nice. No! Look, they're taking on mid Drawing right now. attacked a, cre a creep broke the smoke of deceit. This is going to be a failed smoke gank. Draw Ranger right click to creep by accident. I mean, they might get Huskar. Silence Husgar. or ults? Might get Huskar. They, they get no. nothing out of that. Global silence used. Smoke of deceit used. And nothing. But two people didn't bring, didn't teleport out. They didn't get Shmemo. Oh, nope. OD's down. Uh, take PKB. Oh, good PKB from Drow. Right, Drow PKBs walks throw. away, Sniper starts attacking OD, out. also PKB. Can, who does more damage? It's one versus four. Oh, it's she over. almost takes out it's two, but it's over. going to be the two <laughs> hard hitters from the dire side taking now a beating, look. trying to kill the uh, the oh, Huskar, man. but not succeeding. Two versus four. They did not get That's the memo that it was a disengage. Two thousand gold over to DWK. Well done. Well done. Look at that golden experience graph. It is wow. a straight up throw at this point. Uh, hopefully they come back from this though. Uh, yeah, they they called it this time. Full disengage. Don't forget in Dota, Dota players will not stop chasing, and you can see that this Huskar, he is out for blood. He is done hitting jungle creeps. A blink root, followed by Agichi with his own stun. No, nope, they're gonna go for the supports. Silencer, gonna get jumped first. Phoenix before he ults. He's gonna this he's gonna slow attack me. No, he's gonna dive away. Trying to save his friend on the way out. Percent HP healing does go a long way. They only lose one. This I mean, could have gone much applaud, worse. I need to applaud the targeting there. The targeting there was great. Sometimes it can be really tempting to go after the centaur because they're close. They're in melee range. They're not running away. But they, but they did just a great job him. focusing. Good, great job focusing that. Wasting the blade mail. Uh, and and they don't have uh, global silence. They didn't have stampede. Nothing really to help disengage or fight back. I think that this strategy of constantly grouped is going to come back and bite them in the ass. In my last yeah, video, like I, I said, saying. if you constantly group, you will suffocate. As well, you can see thing, here. If you, find, if you find a strategy that works and it's working in the moment, you, you, you cannot, cannot hold on to that. You, you, cannot, have, to... you have to adapt to the, the game state. And this game yeah. state is slowly ballooning in the opposite direction for what we've been seeing for the first 35 minutes of the game, Zargler. Man. They they've been trying to gank and gank and gank, this gank squad another smoke, but this just gonna be the front of the phoenix. He doesn't have any wards equipped, so this is just. I'm not sure what the smoke is intending to do. He scouted out the tiny, but it's just going to be a little scouting smoke and not much more than that. They might be running out of vision here on the dire side. Let's see, dire. They have radiant has almost no wards. Dire actually has uh. More vision. Phoenix goes in. Oh, sees nobody on the dive. No, they see the Trant for just a moment. Trant, though, he's trying to bait. They're they know it's it. on the on the dire side. It's still four people here, fully grouped and not getting any gold or experience out of it. Radiant getting a little bit more split up. The two supports trying to tank smokes as this is basically their job now is tank the smoke, make sure the Luna behind doesn't die. I'm gonna call out, gonna call out here. We've now have level surpass from uh, from Ice Dog and Herald. They are now stronger than Drow and Level Sniper. 23 and level 22, you're right. The Drow so very silently, struggling very to catch silently, up. Very silently, the game has shifted hands. You know, very importantly, Silence are still level 16. That level 3 ultimate on the Global Silence could be a game changer. His co part, level 19 on the Trim Protector. Oh, uh, the Centaur. Centaur gets this jumped. Pure damage behind him. His team trying to heal him up. This is the moment, Tiny this is the where you only clicks Black Bar at the oh, very end around. of the fight. Good it's rescue. too Good little rescue. too late. Overgrowth followed nice up by. From Phoenix. Good. X, Good uh, up. Jumped. All right. And they've got Drow the Ranger just queuing from the back sniper too. Yeah, they this were going for the centaur for way gone. too much there. I think this is exactly what you're talking about. Wrong target acquisition. This time they did kill the centaur, but at what cost? They're gonna take this advantage and keep it going. 
Uh, well, draw Ranger on Moro South. Stay on top. Have that anymore. Luna uh, going back in. BKB not clicked. Just uh, her Eclipse. Still no BKB. And he, she's going to run away. Ice Dog. That was risky. Barely was surviving. Risky. Just favor, running in with difficult. the Eclipse. Well, they've got this tower. It's one of the advantages of a good sniper. And, and this is going to be amazing. Uh, Van, with the percent HP heal, he's going to keep his team popped off. He has a spirit vessel as well, so he's just going to layer heals. They've got and at least a good just another cannot keep up. Living seconds. armor not being used, and they're going to take out an entire lane. They're going to go for a second. No one has buybacks. This is why buybacks are so important. Dire, Dire has buyback. Everyone Radiant on Dire has a buyback, nobody on Radiant, and Luna, still no BKB. Manta dodges some attacks and runs away. Man. Has a Trickster's Cloak, so she might be able to run in with an invisibility and catch somebody off guard, but that BKB, still a 9 second duration. Tiny going in with uh, invisibility, starting on, on Silencer, Aeon Disc popped, but it's not enough, they don't have any counters for the Aeon Disc. Luna, no, no, BKB, don't do it, don't do in the middle of the enough. fight! Trying to tank up Drow Ranger, dying. Luna, dying first. A kill. Oh my gosh. This Luna surviving this at 100 health. 140. One zero. Luna and Silence are both die eventually, but it's gonna be to the burn oh damage, and it's not gonna gosh. actually do enough damage. Train Protector with the damage over time doesn't this have the it. burst to keep his team alive. This is it because this is why you really need buyback. Oh my God, Huskar like with the BKB at the end of the one game. versus three. Two versus can three, a blink root from Trent. Really Egg, help. can they kill the Egg before it pops? Can they heal it? Egg, pops, oh nothing to left to kill this Tuscar with. One versus two, this is going to be a dead uh, train protect, uh, sorry, not train, centaur. This damage over time, he has no chance to TP home. No blink daggers, he's going to have to just fight it back. Blade mail, not enough. Wow, wow, well done herald of thunder you know this has really been a redemption game for dwk herald of some... thunder just keeping it alive in the end there both both huskar and drow have done a great job at coming back from a, from a tough beginning a tough beginning they're definitely aiming for that late game drow that's really just... good. amazing not going to bode well not going to bode well for the dire who really needs those good team fights to win like that's how they're going to win this thing they need to get a good team fight but they also can't split up to the point where yeah they jumped the the silencer popped his a on disc didn't have any damage it looked really bad at there for the beginning of the fight but it was just a really messy, drawn-out fight after every ulti gets used from the Dire. They are very much a team fight-oriented team. They, they have uh, Egg, they have Centaur's um, Stampede, Global Silence, lots of AoE, lots of team fight. But after the team fight, do they have enough damage to keep up with OD? He's got his... He's starting to build up a Scythe of Vice. That's not going to happen. Like, they're not going to be able to fight back really soon with that three-second sun. <laughs> oh, God. A teleport. To are they going to cancel the teleport? Oh, yeah, they are. Centaur, he just teleported into two. No vision. He does have Stampede, so he's going to be fine. They're not going to chase him any farther than this. Okay, we're, we're definitely feeling This is, is going to be perhaps the last be. fight. The outcome of this They're gonna game. They're going to jump. No! Oh. Before he gets to click BKB. OD out of position. Uh, see, has a blink. We saying, has a BKB. Doesn't get to click anything. Pull one oh, person this out is going to be. It is bad. Is oh, this is bad. This is bad. Roshan. He's going to be killed. But oh, it's no. too little too oh, late. He's no. going to TP out. Can they stop oh, the TP? No. Oh, the stun just half a second late. He just teleports out in front of everybody. But the... The OD gets no, caught out. Gonna... Trent makes time. So Trent, a sacrifice there. Very worthy. They're going to have two lives on the Huskar. But no one else is going to have two lives. They have buyback on Tiny. And they have buyback on uh, on Trent. Just the supports getting buyback from the Radiant. Oh no, Huskar, he's going to feed away his Aegis. Huskar, no. you're alone in front. Anti-heal coming out from the Drow. Huskar, he's just trying so hard to Look get away. At that range. He survives. Look it at the just damage barely. of that range. Pretty incredible. Gonna Late take game draw, sniper yeah. combo, man. Yeah. See, they're just gonna keep on pushing front. They're probably gonna get both 
Drow is giving Sniper 51 agility. That's gonna be 5,000 gold in agility just from the Drow Ranger next to the Sniper. BK, be used to counter the Centaur. Uh, Egg, buyback on the Trent. He couldn't wait any further. OD almost dies uh, there down. to the Huskers Egg. Down. And Good stop. Out. After the BKB yep. is finished, okay, Huskar quickly falls flat. Luna survives to the lane, but it's going to be the Huskar that dies here. twice. Absolutely. That's yeah. a dieback from the train protector as well. Doesn't get a chance to use his living armor leech seed. All right, completely opened up the middle towers. Uh, you know this is. Oh why no! Again. Tiny goes in <laughs> to stun. OD goes in, saves himself, but he's going to be out of position. Eclipse used BKB. Luna, can she do it? She silenced herself before no, she gets to use Luna. Oh, but she has a damage reduction facet, and it's going to be GG. She forgets the Lunar Orbit damage wow. reduction, kills herself with the Mask of Madness uh, armor yeah, reduction, and it's going to be over. The five brain cells take it. OD comes in, and just, it's going to be GG called. Last thing, and what nice sleep an play. ending. Well this played. was so close Whoa. at the end. <laughs> There was a back and forth. Look at this graph. Look at that graph. Wow. They really had a chance there. They really. It's gonna really be had a GG. There. Wow. Five brain wow. cells. I guess what it's enough, a... guys. If you're what coming from League of Legends, you can't make it in Dota. Hey, that's a lesson here, right? There were some really, really good plays. That's Fantastic. that was. That is wild there. Uh, switching scenes real quick. Do, 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 do. Back on camera. Wow. Zargler. Wow. That was the big advantage of their lineup is that they had the team fight ability and they had the range. We call that early. And that's exactly what brought them the game in the end. And, you know, the bit where they were starting to fall off and uh, D. Vild and Gurley was actually coming up in... Uh, had a chance was when the grouping up just wasn't getting any picks and they just they just needed to watch their positioning they just needed to she needed to know okay five brain cells is doing their best to stay up they're trying to get a pick off they needed to be more careful they needed the vision up and they just didn't do it uh they just couldn't handle you know, it and it's tough it's tough you don't you can't if you don't know where the enemy is uh it's, it, it hurts <laughs> as as they learned but yeah, I, I've, that final push from the top lane, they killed the tier 2, they killed the tier 3, they killed your base, and I feel like the Aegis didn't really amount to much. He got caught, BKB was over, and it was Aegis on the Huskar. As I mentioned, they had a response to Huskar, double health regeneration reduction, double grievous wounds if you're coming from League. Huskar just couldn't regenerate through all of that damage as well. And Luna, Luna just... Uh, didn't have the backup from behind. I think that uh, also, like, the support, Tiny, he was trying to scale into a core. He got an Aghanim Shard. He got a uh, Shadow Blade. No Blink or Initiation like that. So maybe it was a little bit of discrepancy there on what the job there, a uh, job was. Do you want to join the teams inside of Game Chat 1? We'll just, like, talk to each other. Yeah, sounds like a good one. All right. See how they're feeling. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello, hello. 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 Well, that hello. was a game for that sure. That was a crazy yeah. game. It was really that close. Was it, you guys didn't know the graphs, but five brain cells with their constant grouping were actually falling behind heavily on experience gain. Yeah, At we one know, point, we caught yeah, on to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's really on. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> we're, we're just death balling. Yeah. We're getting so much more XP because we're not actually splitting. But the, yeah, yeah the, you guys the, were the getting so far was, ahead on experience. Yeah. And uh, with that experience lead, you actually won like two fights in a row. It looked really crazy. Yeah. The graphs yeah, so at the we end. We started yeah. winning at the game, but Hello. we made them. Just, like just take a look at the team net worth ex and experience graphs right now in your post game. That was a yeah. really close game in the end. Uh, mm -hmm. But it was that fight with OD getting caught. Uh, then then the tree sacrificing himself, sacrificing himself so they can finish off and pick up the ages and then they just didn't have anything to uh, finish off that last push there like yeah. to stop it from happening it was an insane game i was so it confused. was very 
<laughs> you were confused. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, was, it, was, it still was a game better than the TI finals, by the way. True. Yeah, <laughs> better than TI. The Twitch yeah. chat was actually like the entire time I didn't read Twitch or I didn't respond to Twitch chat, but come on, I'm streaming. I was reading it the whole time. They were pogging so much, man. They were saying how that you guys were playing better than Mad Lions in the last tourney. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, that's a, that's a really cool thing. I would Thank like. You. To give a shout out to Van, his combs are the best thing. Uh, I'll hear first from the victors. Uh, Van, any thoughts on the game? Any thoughts on being a captain? Uh, how did you put what you learned in this Discord to use? Because I'm feeling a lot of people watching right now are actually League of Legends players trying to decide if Dota's right for them. Um, yeah, so yeah, it felt pretty good. Um... It was pretty fun drafting. I have to give a shout out to Sombru because um, I actually um, practiced drafting like two two ti two times with him. Nice. And so um, I kind of like kind of got used. I like I knew what I wanted to do. So the draft was prepped up, but we did kind of change the game plan. We wanted to ban Triant, but um, our draw ranger said like, oh, you know what? We don't need to ban. We don't. Uh, we Dude, can... you banned my whole fucking hero pool. What the fuck <laughs> is this? What the fuck okay, is this? Here's Dude, the thing. You, my whole you, hero you guys pool. let through <laughs> Triant, who's a healer, Huskar, who's self-healing, and you stacked two anti-heals. I'm pretty sure you guys had a strategy against Triant coming into this game. How did that feel like yeah. stacking yeah. up anti-heals against the lineup? That's um, why I didn't want to ban him. The thing yeah, is, that was a good call. The thing is, um, we well at least we kind of expected the the Trian, Trian pick. So I was already thinking like, okay, they they already had. I think before the Trian, they played like OD, Luna. Yeah. So I didn't really see like a lot of oh, and then and then the Trian comes, and then I'm like, okay, they don't really have a lot of like auto attackers. I could just pick Phoenix, even though I. Altered in front of Husker like two teeth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was like, wait, you're gonna oh. ult in front of the highest attack speed here on the team? Yeah. Are you sure about that? The whole, yeah. And then afterwards, though, like, the whole game plan was to give Algichi and Plasechnik a better time. Uh, mm -hmm. I was expecting Gatrix to go position five. That's why we went with Centaur first. Um, yeah, pick. pretty solid. Yeah, and also, this was Algichi's basically third game with Centaur, so <laughs> props to him. This is like crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those there blink great, stuns, great I saw the catch, play. every like every smoke almost resulted in a kill. And yeah. what I loved yeah. most is you guys were just hunting Ice Dog. I could tell you guys had like some uh, map awareness of where Ice Dog was farming. I saw you just trying to gank him like three or four times yeah, straight. I saw just like having some yeah. PTSD yeah. and just hugging in the towers. Um, the was, no, I, dude, I don't. I don't think you guys understand. I was playing so fucking safe after that first. After that four man jungle, I got fucked. Like I got five man dope in four man. I was like, shit, I can't even walk. I took like two camps in four man's, and I was like, I can't go any further than this. The two camps closest to base. I was like, no further than that. I'm not leaving. Want to okay. I just want to tell everyone, hey, oh. that was amazingly well played. You did such a good job. Uh, just the back and forth between the teams. It, you know, it's not often that you get to jump into a game and have it be that exciting. So uh, thank you so much for mm -hmm. great performances wow. overall. Like I said at the beginning, I was looking forward to seeing some good plays. Uh, I was laughed at. Just want to say I was right. You guys are great. You did a wonderful job. <laughs> thank, you. Thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I saw I saw you dodge a couple of ganks as well. I was like, this guy's learning, man. He's they're they're becoming aware. <laughs> no, that I need first game traumatized me so much, bro. I was just minding my own business. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I definitely think uh, uh, DWK is going to be thinking a little bit differently about how they're drafting because that definitely seems like it's uh, something that Van is a lot more confident about. So I'm curious to see how that plays as well. Mm -hmm. I think that they're going to learn a lot from draft one on Gatrick's side and uh, D, sorry, D DWK are going to come in out and surprise us. They might be ready for the Centaur ban first. I think Centaur was pretty crucial in their team. They didn't have any other stuns, if you noticed, uh, from the Dyer's uh, brainless uh, brainless victory. Brain, five brain cells. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, so the five brain cells, 
We'll see if they adapt a new strategy for game two. They might have only prepared one lineup. Uh, I loved the Drow Sniper. I want to see that again, but I don't want to see the Huskar. He felt like he was jungling for the first 15 minutes, and, and then by that time, the enemy were finishing up like uh, crowd control, and Huskar's jo only job was to try and kill the support Phoenix, and I think he could have done a lot more with a different hero. Yeah, I'm very curious about that too, because you're, when you're also drafting for your second pick, you are looking at you know, you know a little bit more about your opponents, you know a little bit more about what their strengths were. I'm wondering how many of those counter picks we are going to see. Um, are they going to let them play any of the same heroes again, or are we going to see something completely new? So, that will be very interesting to see as well. What I really want to see from DWK in this next game is better warning, because I really think they need better map awareness to survive uh, not getting caught out again. Like, mm -hmm, absolutely. That's the number one thing that they need to do. They did a great job splitting, they did a great job uh, farming, but you really have to watch out for the enemy coming at you. Nothing is safe in Dota. You know what I want to see a little bit more? Is I want to see two supports coming from Gatrex's team and playing a little bit more around the timings of the, like the item timing from their carry. They had a Luna with a BKB and a Manta at about the same time that Drow had a BKB and a Manta. Maybe even before the Manta was completed. That item timing there could have been pushed a little bit further. Team ban, dire team ban. Very quick Drow wow. Ranger ban, they did not like out. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. They did hey, not that like close. that from game one. Man. <laughs> Glinks, we see the, the Glinks is re banned. He was banned in the game Radiant one too. Team ban. Uh, yeah, they did the first same top two bans. Yep. Anti-mage! Anti-mage out again. Wait, does that mean it's going to be another Medusa ban? They're probably just baiting it out. I've played anti-mage versus Medusa. It's actually not that good if if Medusa farms it well. Oh, Viper bans? So this is very similar bans uh, from uh, five brain cells. DWK still deciding though. Think they're gonna ban anyone that they went up against, or do you think that they are gonna just pick, ban the same heroes or similar as before? They might be really comfortable. Like the game was way closer than they think. I'm not sure they should be this comfy. Yeah, I think I think we're gonna see a mix. It's it's tough to know until we start seeing picks. Ten seconds remaining. And the first pick will be in the next minute. Shadow Shaman. 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 Okay, we have actual crowd control. Very reliable CC this time around from Radiant. I feel like Radiant Shadow last Shaman game they had generally... some roots, but did they have any yeah. stuns? Like, who was the stun on Radiant? They, they had a tiny. I think that's it. Right, I think that was it. Yeah. No, Shadow Shaman. I feel like is always a very reliable character. Five seconds remaining. Right. Just point and click. The enemy is now crowd controlled, and you're good to go. Alt with a pretty good utility, good shackling. Ooh, Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker, one of your favorites. Really like it, yeah. So you it's going to be a good first healing, Another, good range, like, good they're tanking. opening with globals again, too. Yeah, healing, range, pick off. Global start once more. It's not a centaur, though, so this might catch them off guard. I like it. I like the Dawnbreaker into Shadow Shaman. An ally gets root is stunned. Dawnbreaker just ults right on top of you. Ten seconds remaining. Interesting choices from D Wild and Curly because they're trying to fight back against. They banned Medusa as well. What Van was doing last time? Well, it seems like. By the way, the Drow Sniper. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're going to have to uh, show us something different this time. Ten seconds remaining. Mm-hmm. Time now for the diet <laughs> Oh, no. He was sad last time. He'll be sad again this time. So we're probably anticipating a... Maybe it's going to be Naga ban again? Naga. Naga yeah. going to get banned again, yeah. Patience while the Radiant's team choose... Tidehunter. So, Tide wait. Hunter. Two offlaners. Maybe they're going to play Dawnbreaker and an off-roll. Perhaps mid or support? Mm. 
What do you think? Or you, could do, you, you could do a tight hunter support pretty the easily. The tight hunter could also be support. I like the flexibility they're showing right now. They're not telling their t the enemy what exactly they're going to go for. You know, I'd love to see a Dawnbreaker tight hunter top lane. That'd be very interesting. Mm hmm. True, true. I mean, you have. Uh, the physical damage from Dawnbreaker and then Tide Hunter can slow enemies and reduce their armor. That's a, actually not a bad combo. And, and they're yeah, both really tanky, tank so it's hard to like bully yeah. them out of lane. And they've got some good range to them too. Elder Titan, interesting choice. Elder Titan picked up. So they're probably looking for a lot of mixed damage from the Radiant team as uh, uh, Elder Titan's strength comes from reducing enemy phys uh, armor and magic resist. What do you think is going to come out? And maybe another Luna? Luna's very mixed. Five so is, uh, uh, like, uh, what's his name? Juggernaut. Going to bleed into some that reserve time. It seems like they, I don't think it's going to be a Luna. I think it's going to be something new. Something new? I, I think yeah, that the Luna was a fine pick. They just didn't have enough, like, coordination around it. Oh, OD for the mid lane again, again, unless he's going to be uh, flexed around. And we did see OD do some pretty good plays, so I am looking mm -hmm. forward to watching that again. And the setup, look at the stuns! This time, like, last time they had OD's, like, pseudo stun Second with Tiny. Remaining. Now they have Shaman to Shaman, Elder Titan with AoE Sleep, OD Five with his Astro remaining. Imprisonment. They've got some pretty good crown control here. Uh, we're seeing some nice AoE with the Downbreaker Tide Hunter, so uh, it's going to be very interesting. Yeah, I'd like to see those two stack up, stun people so they can't run away from the Dawnbreakers follow up. Yeah. Team pick. Disruptor. Oh, Disruptor. Okay. Well, we know what he does. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the best named heroes in Dota. Yeah, he, he just like fucks your ideas. Uh, Disruptor's gonna be really good with the AoE silence until they have BKBs running on OD. Shadow Shaman, he's not gonna be able to maintain uh, uh, channeled abilities for very long. Disruptor, could you like jump him? I'm really liking these lines up. They're, they, they are interesting. Yeah, it's like, There's a lot it's of possibilities that, here. It is very clear that the, uh, the players are learning and adapting from the game one. Oh, yeah, there's the silencer yep. catch up. Wait, so they have two si AoE silences. I feel like this is a bit of a misplay here as they're stepping on each other's toes. Or maybe they just want to have plenty of ultimates so they're never caught without one of them. Well, if you look at the enemy team and how many disruptions that they're going to have to remaining. fight themselves, you know, with the different stuns and locks uh, from they don't have them, I think, I think they're trying to limit the amount of abilities that they have to uh, encounter because I feel like without their abilities, Elder Titan and Shadow Shaman don't do a whole lot. And here's the interesting thing about Disruptor and Silencer. I was thinking, well, what if the enemy have BKB? Well, Disruptor, once he gets a snag and Scepter, he disables the activation of items. And if Silencer goes for his reverberating silence facet, the BKB itself will silence you for another two seconds once activated. So they might need a couple of cleanses from Radiant. Uh, perhaps a second support, unless the Elder Titan is that second support. But I would love to see something like Oracle in there, and then also like uh, something that does damage to Tidehunters. They don't. I guess OD does a little bit, you but know, I'm afraid that. Like, the damage yeah, output sorry. is going to be a bit lower. Yeah. Well, this is interesting, because I would probably say they've got a lot of range on their team right now. I'm just trying to think, if if who would I be picking for D right now? I'm not sure. they, they got to pick a tank as well. Last game, they didn't have any tanks. They had to share the tanking responsibility between Huskar and Tiny, and it just didn't work out for them. I'd like to see something down. like Undying. Undying. Okay, so we got another tanky support. This is going to be an Elder Titan offlane, I think. Unless they switch it up and have Undying as the core position. Really fantastic like team back. fight. They uh, nothing the on. Ban. Yeah, there's the Naga ban. Nothing on the Radiant that can kill Tombstone very quickly this time. It's a very casting-heavy game, I feel. Mm-hmm. Against two silences? Like, this will be interesting. Yeah. Ten seconds. No, I'm sorry. Eight seconds. Actually, I meant... Well, never mind. Five seconds remaining. 
Yeah, again, we're leaving our position ones for our very last picks. We're going to need some pretty strong choices. Yeah, I, I want to see someone that can just run in there and right-click as if OD gets CC'd. Well, I was talking about need. Troll earlier, but it might even be Sven. Uh, the armor bonus in the AoE for Sven will disable Dawnbreaker and Tide Hunter's entire damage from their kits. So Sven here could be very good to answer two people with just one. Then they'll have some uh, frontline like bruiser tank, and they'll just have to worry about the last pick carry from uh, uh, from uh, the five brain cells. I am definitely a five fan of the Sven idea. Guess we'll have to wait and see a final pick. Uh, they're getting going to run out of reserve time on DWK this second time around. Uh, five brain cells, they're much faster on the draft, they know what they want, and they have plenty of time left. They still have a minute into reserve after this ban as well. They need to ban some carries, so they banned uh, Shadowfiend, which is a good range right-clicker carry. They might ban something like, uh, I don't know, Phantom Ursa. Oh, Ursa, okay, so there's the two bans that they wanted to get rid of. Actually, a Phantom Assassin would be very interesting. I like that idea. Lineup. I would, yeah, because she's not too ability heavy. Mm hmm. You know, a Spectre could be interesting too. Do you think Spectre might get bullied out from a lane like Dawnbreaker Tiny? Oh, sorry, Tidehunter, Dawnbreaker Tidehunter. Oh, I just noticed we're missing a mid laner from bottom. So it's going to be Dawnbreaker mid as they don't have any carries. You could also do a silencer mid. Oh, if they do silencer mid, uh, I've told the students they can, but it's kind of bad. They might make it work though. They've made, like, they've shown they have some strategy behind their pick. So, Lena. Lena in. Oh, huh. So, again, not really any tanks from DWK. They'll have to manage without. They're probably going to try and see, like, can we kill the enemy before they can kill us? Lena might have also been a counter pickup where they just like take Lena to take it away from uh, uh, from Dire as Lena's attack speed would have been a perfect answer to Undying's Tombstone. I'm just very intrigued by that because I would ex have expected them to go for a more physical damage carry. <laughs> I mean, Lena is a very high physical damage when she's a carry. So I, I do think that's like the hard carry on their team. Like her passive, whenever she uses abilities, she gets a really high attack speed. So all she needs to do is just pick up a Gletnir, pick up some crits, maybe a Shadow Blade BKB, and go ham. So the damage from DWK is not lacking anymore. I was afraid earlier. They have decent team fight with Elder Titan and Undying securing some control. Uh, Lena with the carry, but they don't have much of in terms of tanking. I'm interested to see who's the support, Elder Titan or, or Undying, and we'll have to be one of them. Oh, oh no! So this was their last pick. They're going to pick up the Huskar from mid lane. Izzy's going to take it as a counter to OD. Does he realize that OD does uh, pure damage and it goes through Huskar's magic resistance? We'll have to see. It's like the annoying versus the annoying once more. It's not Sniper, though. So it's going to be picked up, a uh, bloodbath on Huskar as the mid. Lots of control. Silencer is going to take reverberating silence. Oh shit, hold on. Morosov is going to be playing Dawnbreaker as a position one. This is going to be a split pushing Dawnbreaker that can join in with fights. It's like uh, the Spectre you were saying, right? Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were talking is. about Spectre. Is. This is their like pseudo Spectre at home. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I really am a fan of that, along with the silence, sir. Previous match, really 12 out. and 3. That was sick. Okay, well, here we go. Here. We. Go. Alright, you're gonna have to give me that stream again. Let's do this. Oh, thank you. Please do join in. Thank you. Smoke right, a seat from the radiant this time around. 
Dive it worked out last time they killed Dar Morosov while he was AFK. Maybe they'll do the same thing. No, just don't go AFK. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's difficult, okay? League of Legends players aren't used to any action before the creeps actually touch each other in the lanes. Well, it seems like they've got uh, the same idea on different sides. Mm hmm. Last time they rotated oh. on through the top side, now they're going to do the same thing for the bottom. They might be trying to get a pickoff here, but uh, Dyer are having none of it. Already grouping up as five. They know the smoke might be coming. Fool me once. Maybe they're going to place a ward back here? Oh, wait! It's just... they're just going to be chilling. Uh, Dyer had no idea. They're, this oh, is just... They're pulling uh, them over. They got the vision, so they're walking out to see what happens. Early ward placed by Izzy. So it's just going to be an even trade, two for two, I think. Not much of a contest for the runes. Unless it's going to be a fight here. Izzy, are you going to be baited? Out. One versus three? They have too many lockdowns. He doesn't want to take the risk. Oh, nope. Yeah, good stun. Alina, Get out of there. Ice uh, Dog, this is literally the same thing that happened in game one, where he went oh, for the man. rune nope. and then got caught out. But in game one, he survived game two. That's going to be first blood. Lena, the carry, already dying to uh, the bait of a rune. Still, though, how many runes they get? They got three runes for one. So they're starting this game with an advantage in gold on the Radiant team, despite that death. Worth indeed. Lena, she's gonna have to catch up. Support Elder Titan. We were wondering, I was wondering what the lanes are gonna look like. And it's going to be an undying position three, already gonna be jumped by Morosov and by Disruptor. Disruptor, of course, being extremely annoying in lane with those pings. And. Really gonna push out that Shadow Shaman. Yeah, yeah Shadow Shaman, not lane. having a good time. Top lane's gonna be a real tough one here. Um, uh, Another I jump mean, on Shadow Shaman, Red Mist. Can he heal oh. up from this? He's got two blood grenades. He's walking the wrong way. He's running away from his enemy, but he's got no boots. Can the passive kill him? No, they chose oh, the out. wrong oh, chicken. Cluck, Cluck, saving his life. They went for the wrong chicken, and it's going to be turned around. Morosov might be going back. Wait, he goes back in. One versus two, wow. but Morosov, he's got wow. 50 health left. Everybody almost dying here within the minute 30. That was that was close. I mean, the both teams now know each other a little bit more, so they're being a bit more careful than beforehand. Um, we can see OD just about to get this middle kill. Oh, yep, I, the Huskar. I missed that one. Thank you so much. Huskar dying to OD. That level 3, even level 2 power spike. He just had Arcane Orb, which is a shit ton of pure damage. So if you're not ready with Huskar, it's just going to be kill a death every time. Top lane, yeah, lane Dawnbreaker's trying to heal up a little bit. But she's way too far from the creeps, not getting any experience from those deaths. Uh, meanwhile, Lena is actually doing quite well in their lane. Yep, Oscar trying to punish a little bit. Has the Burning Spears already active? Gonna deny a rune because he doesn't need it. Nobody again. It's a manaless hero versus a hero with infinite mana. These runes are going to be nothing. Top lane, no, Undying just tanking some creeps. Very action packed already. I mean, I do like watching these teams go against each other because I feel like we get very active games, but not the feeling of being thrown like some. Whoa! Game mid lane! Games. Huskar kills OD, and, uh, but only after OD kills Huskar. It's just they fought to the end. Huskar went in, nothing but burning spears. OD went in, tried to save with Astro Imprisonment, didn't work out. Arcane Orb to finish off the fight. But it's going to be a one for one in favor of OD. He died second, so he's going to get the experience uh, while Huskar is still going to remain at level three. This is going to be a level three Huskar for a level four OD already. Four and a half. Once he hits level five, I'm not sure Huskar can lane anymore. Coin. Silencer grabbing up the bounty runes. We've got Disruptor and Shadow Shaman pretty close together. Oh, Shadow Shaman taking some of the creep damage. Oh, ah, why is this fucking camp aggro rage so long? Trying to disrupt the pulls a little bit, but Shadow Shaman has a way of healing himself. All he needs to do is just cast his shackles on the enemy. He'll heal, heal, heal back up. 
Oh, blocking the camp. Mana up it's top. a little bit of uh, aggression here. Nope, Red Mist, he out. went for the Dead block. Is gonna, they're going to choose the right chicken? They went for the correct chicken this time around. And they got a kill. Harold, trying to survive by himself. Going to get glimpsed. A follow-up Dawnbreaker, still on cooldown. Three seconds, two, one. And there it is. That's going to be two for zero in the top lane just to try and kill, uh, block the camp. I'm pretty sure they're very happy with that on the dire side. That block was extremely expensive. Struggling on the top lane once again. Yeah, they sure are. A Kuskar dropping his health. He just has Burning Spears on permanently, so he's going to kill himself faster than OD. I feel like that's not how you want to play Huskar. Getting junk? No, OD just wants to take his mana. It's funny, Huskar doesn't have a mana pool, so OD gets no benefit from using Astral Imprisonment in this lane. He might just want to skip this ability entirely. He oh, did stop. Got Disruptor. Disruptor Out. dying the top lane. Uh, yeah. I missed it. Did uh, they just? He just got caught out by Hex. Not even Shackles used, but Tombstone. Oh, he must have killed Tombstone on the way out, so he dies, but Tombstone was traded. Still a very close game here uh, from Radiant and Dire. Middle lane, Huskar, pure damage versus Huskar. That's just an easy kill there again. Level 5 versus what is now a level 6 and a half on OD. The redemption from game 1 is That's right very here. Quick Dawnbreaker six. getting jumped. Uses some abilities. She has some healing built in, so uh, getting fed uh, Tango. She'll be perfectly fine. Disruptor has lots of Tangles to play with. Gonna try and deward, but chooses the wrong spot. That no. camp is gonna be blocked for a little while. Dawnbreaker with no health, no mana, no fucks left to give, wants to go back in. But this pull is uncontested, so they're gonna lose out a little bit if they don't go for that pull. And uh, Shaman picks up that healing Lotus. They're going to miss out a lot of assets here. So OG dies second again. These guys, they die so quick I don't even notice their health bars draining. I feel like they go on each other and somebody's going to die. Smiley face from, <laughs> from Prasechnik and Izzy responds with an XD. <laughs> uh, it's gonna the are pretty neck and neck. <laughs> neck and neck. Thank you. Look at this lane control from Red Mist though. That's Gatrix for you right there. He pulled the wave and now Dyer has to step out very far to get it. It's gonna be a rune for a rune uncontested this time on the wisdom runes. And in the mid lane, uh Huskar is still draining his life. I'm not sure if he knows that this thing does cost a lot of health, which is why he's dying so quickly. Uh, if he had more health to spare, things might be a bit different. And that level uh, disparity between our OD and our Huskar is making me real uncomfortable about Huskar's fate. Yeah, a Huskar, huge lead. lane bully, but if you bully yourself by draining your own health... Plus, he's going up against OD, who has chosen uh, abilities to counter Huskar. So this was a really good call. Uh, gank. Oh. E each support going in. The glimpse is going to save Izzy. But it's not going to be very far. OD going back in. Izzy. Is he going to die? He is. Not fast enough. The rotation from uh, Disruptor. Not before oh. he has his, act oh, his he's ultimate. He's coming with those really strong right attacks. Getting uh, kinetic fielded kinetic. up, he's gonna be able to run away. He did have 10 stick charges though, so he attack. clicked it fast enough. In the top, uh, and then Shaman Shaman survives that gank, so it's going to be a gank from each support. With Huskar dying, and then still not even level 6, 8 minutes in. He's about to get level 6, maybe he'll want to rotate out. He has infused range ups, so he's yep. got a oh, little bit of sustain. He cut up the OD, right there. OD oh, was... Huskar killing themselves again? It's, it's just going to be the same oh, thing man. every time. Obsolete. Wait, what? Izzy gets the kill Izzy first. first. So he's got to get a up. little bit of XP from that. Level 8 to level 7, but it's 8.5. OD, he's going to scale once he gets that... Right, top, uh, which we're going to see Undying is going to fall out top 
possibly, or is it? Undying, is getting ulted in, in place by the Dawnbreaker. Oh, Dawnbreaker again, dice to the zombies. It's trade. just trade for trade. This is close. But it's okay. Undying has that fa uh, passive. He's instantly respawned once every once every seven minutes. Uh, doesn't get glimpsed back into the fountain. That would have been really funny to see. Uh, but Dawnbreaker dies one versus two, it seemed. I'm not sure if the Shadow Shaman was there. Shadow Shaman's going to pick up some farm in the mid. And we're going to see OD ganking. Boots uh, completed. Boots of travel versus... Uh, sorry, power treads versus boots of speed. Uh, not fast enough. These boots are actually the same movement speed each. So, wait. Huskar? Okay, Mr. Huskar. Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman uses Hex. Is comfortable on his disengage there. The amount of crowd control from the DK, sorry, DWK. We were talking about that during the draft. It's insane. Like way more stuns. Sargler, I think that's gonna yeah. come into play until BKBs come online. It really is. We are gonna be seeing that for quite a while. It's interesting here because OD is the one carrying the team right now with most of the kills. Shadow Shaman glimpsed back into life break. Huskar, he can kill him even though he's gonna get stunned. There isn't any way out of this. They're gonna choose the right chicken. And the chicken's just gonna burn on the way. And now it's just so many targets here. Stun from Lina, making a rotation before level six. A good disengage. Disruptor silences everybody so that Huskar can just run away. And then glimpse back. Huskar decides to stop. Well, you know, I would back up. Yep. We don't want to push too far past the lane. Um, oh, we've got up top, we've got Undyne looking a little low. Uh, had a nice little skirmish with Dawnbreaker, but both are okay. Oh, shit! OD teleported top, got glimpsed back to the bottom lane. He didn't wait enough time, and that means, but Dawnbreaker, OD didn't even need to be there. Dawnbreaker dies to a Shadow Shaman just walking at her. Mad? <laughs> gotcha, bitch! Oh my god. Exclusively very mad. Shadow Shaman just walks up, doesn't even have to use his ultimate. Type Hunter dies on the other side. I am slowing down on here. OD, he was glimpsed into the bottom lane. Tide Hunter probably not ready for the OD to show up in his lane really quickly there. Dies. Silencer follows uh, as well. Uh, this is a huge bloodbath, and it's total flip from the first game. 2k net worth lead at 11 minutes. Zargler. Fascinating. Well, I'm trying to think. Let's Top see. lane, Tombstone dropped. Here, 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 Undying here. got uh, Solar Guardian. They're going to kill Undying first and a free bonus gold to Tombstone. They're going to give the Tombstone over to the Dawnbreaker. N yes, they are. I th almost for a moment thought Disruptor was going to steal it. All right, we've got Odie coming up to try and see if we can clean up that Dawnbreaker. It's probably not going to work unless you can some Glimpse help. again. Uh, and then Disruptor. Disruptor is just being a nuisance. Doing very well. Again, Van showing us that there is some um, good situational awareness. Let's go with double damage, roaming bottom. Has his ability for health regeneration maxed out, so he's not going to kill himself as quickly as before. And he's going to rotate bottom. Let's see how who he's going to catch here. Can Izzy, sorry, can Ice Dog and uh, a a HW, Apon, Ellie, can they counter this? He uses life break, dodges the sun. And out. Out and about, Tide Hunter oh, with the slow. It's, it's, he still has Ravage. Ravage it's committed. Wow. It's a two well. for nil. Two, three ultimates used. Silencer started out, out. Tuscar, life break, Tide Hunters. Uh, Ravage also committed. And in the top lane, Shadow Shaman glimpse back. Static Storm. But can Save. they fight Undying no, too strong? He has Tombstone available, but he's not clicking Tombstone down, and Huskar dies for it. Almost uh, kills Dawnbreaker as well. He had um, the facet rotting mid, so he was spawning a shit ton of zombies. Glimpse back. This isn't, you're not getting out of this one. It's going to be a two for one. The very flamboyant kill, or like uh, Huskar. Making that happen, dying. No, Disruptor, Disruptor, not like this. But not like this, Disruptor, up. dying. Still got it up. Dawnbreaker needs to go up there and start hitting it. On the other side, Tide Hunter dies, no Ravage uh, to use. It's still on cooldown. Go Silencer, he turned Man, so around to slow, but that gave Don 
the OD enough time to catch up if Silencer just had kept running. You might have been able to make it to the tower, but that churn animation, League of Legends player is still not used to it. It's just up and down, up and down. It's like this game just refuses to stay tied. Look, <laughs> look at that graph. It's just who's gonna win? It looks like Top lane, to Dawnbreaker. She could just use her town portal scroll to get back to the base and then use her ultimate to leave it, but decidedly doesn't want to waste an ultimate like that. But the time Huskar they get back, Undyne's tombstone is going to be back, so it's going to be another drop, and that really messed them up last time. Yeah, that so tombstone, they, they didn't have any answer for it drafted. It. Yeah. Like, it's maybe really they can use Huskar, but Huskar's attack, speed, attack range is not that high. They don't have a, si a sniper this time around. It seems Dyer has chosen to strengthen their structures. Yeah, their physical damage isn't there unless Huskar can really get that attack speed up. Mid lane, Huskar goes in, life break, get a glimpse back, Static Storm Looking and the Silence. They're the stacking OD. their two silences on top of each other. The oh, Solar Guardian out. on top of it all. Everything was set up. Trying to buy some time, OD kills Huskar on the way out. But it's not over. Undying goes in, Tombstone already placed. Split Earth kills one! Huskar doesn't dodge oh the split! Actually, no, Huskar dies God. early. Uh, Dawnbreaker Dawn doesn't dodge the split, survives with 100 health. That's that a 3 close. second cast animation ability. That was very close to not being killed. I thought Huskar died there, but he died uh, earlier, I forgot. OD? Kills Huskar, knows he's a uh, goner. The rest of his team rotate. Tsar, change your camera now. It's okay. Oh, he doesn't want to. I know oh, you're, you're wa watching me. <laughs> you're supposed to. You're, <laughs> you're not. So is it not? Oh, God. Not so, uh, supposed to. To trash talk the Gasterx D D D D D question marks. It's okay. He did great there. Uh, picks up uh, a <laughs> ban him for cheating. <laughs> that was a sick glimpse into a uh, uh, static storm. But they layered st silences again. This is where they're catching up on top of each other. Shadow Shaman going in for a Sechnik. Getting his, himself Help. killed, and, trying oh, to kill the Shadow Shaman. In. Shadow Shaman doesn't get anything. OD making a pause for the game. Oh no, they had no vision. Huskar had to walk uphill to fight, dies for it. Gets two out, but they didn't have any vision advantage there. Wow. Dawnbreaker joins wow. the fight. Solar wow. Guardian again. This is just like, this is this is just. Uh, <laughs> It's a just back and forth. Home. Just back and forth. We're tied up again. Glimpse. There's no way out of this. Tide Hunter still has Ravage. Oh, if he needs it, does not want in. to spend it. They're should gonna go in. in. Tombstone. Undying. Are they gonna use Ravage? Are they gonna do anything for this? Are they just gonna let Tide Hunter die to zombies? No, this is not, War of the not. Worlds. Like World War Z. Okay, they killed to some Tombstone okay, zombies. They're gonna turn out for un around for Undying. Undying Wait, one versus three. Off. Yep. Oh, nice good. time, Ulti oh, back Shadow in, Ult gets a kill on the and Disruptor. And got the Tombstone that's slowing them Tide down. Un and then this Tide Hunter never gets out. They don't even kill the Tombstone. He dies to zombies slow the entire time. Shadow Shaman catch catches Dawnbreaker. Dawnbreaker tries to get out, not in time. OD Man. with that pure damage coming in for the cleanup. You know, there's something I did not consider early on in the draft. You know, we looked at the big CC that we've got from the Radiant, but I did not think about the Shadow Shaman Tombstone alt combo. <laughs> yep, you can't kill the Tombstone, and you don't have any attack speed heroes except for Huskar. Huskar has been farming in the jungle for a little while in between deaths. What the fuck is this disrupted, dude? He has a vendetta against me, man. Another glimpse. He's a disruptor. He's this. trying to yeah. buy time, but oh, the, the O oh, D no. damage output from Arcane Orb not Incredible. anything they drafted against there. They have Tide Hunter who has physical damage resistance. Dawnbreaker who is building some armor items. Phase boots. A completed soul ring is another armor item. Huskar, magic resistance, but guess what? The most damage coming out is from this OD. His pure damage is way too high to deal with. OD rotating top, 
Can he get another kill? Tombstone was already used, but Dawnbreaker? No, she doesn't have the attack speed for it. Has uh, an Echo Saber, but is using the Echo Saber against heroes. Dom uh, OD has a Blink Dagger. Coin for me. Ooh. I can barely stop talking. Zargler, there's so much action going on. There was so much going on. This will be pretty. They've reached Dyer's top He's just back and forth. He's back and forth. Moro is taking sticking on a loaded around, camp. Is though. the camp at a kill Huskar? Wait, don't oh. they know that dump, that uh, there's a blink dagger on OD? He can't go on this. Moro Sov, one versus two. The disruptor doesn't catch anyone with the static storm. They all just run away. Red mist getting glimpsed back. Can they get away from these serpent wars before they become a problem? Dawnbreaker, she has her ultimate, uses it straight away to no effect, turning like on the undying, but undying, he is Tombstone. not dying. OD, look at the damage output! Silencer dies before his ultimate's available, and it's just going to be Disruptor using Kinetic Field. Uh, still loses the majority of his team. OD dies to the Ravage, but he's going to probably get a BKB. They don't have a counter to BKB this game. And Undyne still has Tombstone up. Undyne still has Tombstone available. They could take another fight right away. Boots of Bearing completed already. They will be ignoring those slows from the Dawnbreaker. They'll be ignoring the slows from the Huskar. That's a really good counter matchup. This is actually an amazing item. I hadn't looked at the items already. Lena, still no farming item. It's it's 20 minutes, just a Shadow Blade. OD finished BKB. Uh, Anti-heal on Elder Titan. That's to counter the uh, Huskar. They all have the anti-heal. Huskar again. This is why nobody's picking him in the professional scene. The guy's just way too weak. It's a very interesting last pick. Like, I, I am very surprised. It was the last pick, wasn't it? It was. So, maybe they had enough draft for, like, enough thought of up for one game, didn't expect it to be a best of uh, two. I really, so. think, I really think that Sven would have been a cool choice here. Silencer as a support, this he's gonna be farming the jungle. All he needs is enough mana for his ultimate, but he's been spending mana to farm. I hope he has enough. They're layering their ultimates, these two silencers. The silencer and the disruptor. If they keep layering them over time, it's just going to be inefficient. It's like you're playing with one less ultimate for the team fights. Zarkler, how would you have drafted instead of the silencer pick? So I feel like they had to they had a silence already. Silencer was picked middle of the lineup too, so I think what they were anticipating with uh, what they were looking at was a lot of these really strong abilities, right? You know, you got the Shadow Shaman, you got the, um, uh, they had already picked the Elder Titan, so I think, I think the thought there was the fear of all the casts, and we are seeing how strong those stuns are going to be. I just don't think Silencer's fast enough in, in those silences to actually be what they need, so probably another character who could, you know, either save allies or, you know, add some stuns of their own uh, to do some counter CC. So I was thinking like a really good, oops, uh, Tide Hunter gets jumped, glimpsed away, but it's not very far. Tide Hunter, one versus three, an AoE silence is going to save Tide Hunter. Tombstone down on the ground. Uh, OD walks away from the silence. Tombstone. Tide Hunter, Ravage, Solar Guardian, Everyone's coming there. in, Dawnbreaker coming, in, coming jumping in. hard, Huskar gets Undying almost killed, out. Volt is zero, Huskar surviving on a sliver, and now it's on OD, OD getting caught out of position. The stun, oh, the, the stomp, catching people for a moment, OD blinks away Blinking after out. the, nice. it's going to be, what a counter kick. engagement. For the first player is sleeping. Yeah. The Dawnbreaker wow. layering their ultimates. Disruptor saving people for a moment with his ultimate. And Incredible counter initiation the there. Titan. And it's just right back to center. This game just wants to be tied up. It's amazing. The layering was insane there. Darcy, you're not even playing. Stop with the, the smiley faces, man. <laughs> uh, Darcy is uh, watching the game right now from inside of the client, smiley facing us. Izzy? Izzy. Is Izzy 
going to die to Don uh, the oh jump. Izzy, I have watched Izzy almost die to about five different camps. <laughs> <laughs> I'm but... smiling. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, Od he ulted, but here's the thing: Od's ultimate does damage as a difference between mana. I'm not sure how that works with a hero that doesn't have mana. I think it does some damage, but not as much as you'd, you'd expect. Maybe that's what was the thinking behind, behind the Huskar pick, but I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, but Huskar's been dying to Arcane Orb. He almost dies there as well. They didn't have the layered uh, crowd. Oh, uh, Elder Titan, no Spirit Vessel charges. They don't have any anti-heal right now for Huskar until Elder Titan picks, up, picks off a kill. You know what I'm noticing this game? Where's the smoke gigs? There's just no time. <laughs> There's just no time. People just haven't had the time to group up. Dawnbreaker I mean, farming good. very aggressively next to enemies. She's going to be jumped right now. Looking at the scoreboard right now, OD Wait. is definitely carrying most a blink of the team. In, red mist. We've got to split up on the other one. All right. <laughs> Point blank <laughs> blink from OD to make sure he's just styling Wow, that is just bullied. Absolute bullying. He ulties at the end there. He's not going to have it when he respawns. That was a really panic ultimate. Uh, we've got a note from the chat that it does full damage against Huskar. It counts no mana, zero mana, so max damage possible. Thank you so much, chat, for uh, for catching that. So here's what it, that could have worked out if Silencer just global silenced. Dawnbreaker could have ultied out. It would have cost them two, two ultimates. Whoa, an ultimate Silencer. BKB from Izzy goes in. The two silences are already wasted. There's no more silences left. Harold Shadow gonna Blade press dodge. his ultimate, gonna press the tombstone first actually. Alright, uh, now the Hunter and holding it. on oh, that to Ravage, that. not pressing it until his entire team is dead. Ravage is at the very end no, of it all, but his team is Elder already Titan's perished. Great moment to put Tidehunter to sleep right after the blink. Tidehunter Man, blinks in, doesn't doesn't press R fast enough. Yeah, well you couldn't. It was just such was a frame well perfect time to sleep. Yeah, I saw Elder that he was Titan. slept it was and I was incredible. surprised. It was a blink right into the sleep. This is why on my guides, I don't even have Blink Dagger on Tidehunter. Bl Tidehunter can ulti from very far away if he has to. There's no need for you to get in melee range. I just have to commend the Elder Titan in this game because, my gosh, yeah, there have Elder been Titan, some amazing plays. Those amazing Echo saves. Stomps have been just putting a pause to so many fights. I don't think I've seen a single one missed. Every single one has been hitting on the mark. I almost feel like Elder Titan is a bigger combo breaker than Silencer this game. It is. I am. It's, it's very well done. Elder Titan building up what looks like it's going to be a pipe of insight. Oh my god, Huskar dies full to zero, even with the heals coming out from Dawnbreaker. Just not enough heals while you have Elder Titan's uh, heal fusion. Once again, these silencers are just not catching enough people. Dawnbreaker goes back in, Tide Gunter as well, can't handle the DPS. You don't need a tank on the Radiant if you're just killing the enemy. As Wise Man once said, the best crowd control in Dota is actually death. Lena with the Glettnir catch. They, everybody on Dire, sorry, on Radiant. DWK, nothing but catch. Lena, Shadow Shaman, OD. Elder Titan, Undying's the only one without any crowd controls, uh, like solid crowd control, but the Dire haven't been able to kill any tombstones effectively enough in these games. So Don, uh, Undying, I've also noticed, he's essentially like the uh, the center of the team. He's got Boots of Bearing for that speed buff, and after this matchup, like 9k Goldie, one of the biggest in uh, the game so far. And they're gonna go in on uh, the Roshan. They do have OD. Arcane Orb does a shit ton of damage to Roshan, and it looks like he might be the one picking it up. I would expect unequip from Centaur, or from this guy. Yeah, right, anybody Centaur. unequipping? Uh, who grabbed uh, it? Hello? Okay, <laughs> <laughs> Lena picks it up. Last time it was Huskar, and it weren't, didn't work out. This time it's on the carry. They might be able to use this to bait out some, uh, assass like some ultimates. Silencer, ultis, Lina, respawns, what you gonna do now? Lina going for anti-heal on Eye of Scotty before a BKB. They are really not afraid of that Ravage. It's caught Dyer them a couple times. They're really struggling to do what they were doing last time and group up, take off some picks offs because they are just running around trying, trying to get a bearing on because that just They're not using out. any ganks this time around. 
no. It's like, it, it, they seem a little shaken. They seem a little shaken. I wonder if they overthought the picks, because they spent a lot of time doing it. That's true. It's a little bit of downtime as both teams kill off Tormentors, Roshan, and we might see a rotation soon as Roshan will be the uh, push to the high ground, probably. So, Zar, what does Dire need to be doing right now? Well, they're doing exactly that. Disruptors placing some wards trying to protect from high ground. They really need that Tidehunter, Dawnbreaker, and Silencer combo to work. I'd expect Disruptor to go for an Axe Scepter next to stop all the BKBs coming out from the other side. How do you feel their initiation has been? Uh, sometimes really good, sometimes really bad. Both teams are initiating and it almost feels like whoever, whichever team presses BKB and R first, team seems to be winning. Right now, it's been on the dire side. Oh, smoke it to see. It's, right now, it's been on DWK. Uh, they've been fighting, and the Tidehunter's hesitation has been casting their team a couple of kills there. They just need the yeah. Dawnbreaker to split push and join fights with her ultimate. She has BKB. She has an ultimate. Oh, no, she doesn't have a BKB. She's still working on it. That might be it. Where are they? They're, they're smoke. Nice. They are, they're smoke. They're, they're, they're smoke. Because of run, 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 run. Dawnbreaker's pass, like facet just happened, and she didn't see anybody. They're smoked, and they know it. Look at that, tra like, escape to the lane right now. Nobody showed in lane. It's just going to be a waiting game. This is really tough for Dire because they have just lost all of their towers. Uh, we st and they still haven't taken tier one on on uh, Radiant top. Yeah, Radiant's tier one top is still effective. Lena with the with the Aegis is going to frontline. Tiny going in. Ulti, Silencer, this is all the triple. He catches only one, though. And they're going to kill up, off the Aegis. Disruptor not able to survive this, but it's going to be Tidehunter dying afterwards, followed by Huskar not able to press his B any, no BKBs on the Radiant side, uh, sorry, on the Dire side. They all focus, and they focus the gonna... DL, no D, but OD has made so much space that the rest of the team can recover from that. Jeez, Man, OD does... They see that every Tombstone ultimate to kill OD, but what are you going to do afterwards? Tombstone's Ultimate. alive, Undying's healthy, Lina's hitting your buildings, and you're still all dead! This lineup's just amazing because you got the attack damage from Lina and OD, you got ways of crowd control with Elder Titan and Shadow Shaman, and the Shadow Shaman and... Uh, Blitmir catches Huskar, Huskar's not ready, he still doesn't have any sort of crowd control or CC from his team, and he just dies immediately. For nothing! Go he, that's a dieback. He bought back, walked in, and died. That's Glimpse. really going to set them back. I thought he, he's a cool as a cucumber. That Glimpse is nothing for Tim. Just walks it off the only one with the buyback remaining at this point on the Dire's side, and we have full buybacks on everyone on the Radiant, with the exception of Elder Titan. So, just... Good position for Radiant right now. If they good position, cool good and use. Keep on doing what they're doing. They have got this game locked in the bag. Good use of the Aegis as well. She spends almost her entire two lives to get that lane down. Regen rune. They'll be nice and healthy. And uh, Shadow Shaman. He's actually been using the hex uh, defensively, using it to cleanse his allies from crowd control and stun and shit. This is a weird ability. With cluck, cluck, facet, uh, he can uh, essentially hex his allies to cleanse them of enemy crowd control. So those stuns from Tide Hunter, the it's just not amounting to that much. Shadow Shaman going for an Ag Scepter after the Aether Lens and Blink. So not going to go any defensive items on the supports. Are both supp okay? We have one on Elder Titan. But no glimmers, no four staffs from these two supports. The only four there are there any four staffs on this team? I just want to None. The if they get caught out, that's over. They don't have any saves. I want to push out the uh, the commend the vision that I'm seeing done by the Radiant side. They have really pushed into the other uh, team. Yeah, face. look at it's Radiant versus Dire. They can both see each other. Oh, they smoked under uh, Dire Ward. So this is going to be a very in vision smoker to see. A smoke into smoke. Who jumps first? Tide Hunter, if he doesn't, if he hesitates, it's over. Blink oh, in, stun, it. 
Solar Guardian? Comes no, in. no BKB on oh, Solar on the uh, Dawnbreaker oh, though. She's gonna just Can't be right quick by those like Lisa. undying yeah. zombies. Tombstone killed by the attack speed from Huskar, and this was just wow. a better like the smoke of this. It was the tight the... hunter. It was the tight hunter blink and ravage yeah. right immediately is what. But won also that fight. this ward right here placed by once again Van the captain. He places this ward, which catches the smoke of deceit being used. Dyer knew exactly where to go and initiate, and the Radiant weren't ready. This this one ward won the fight there. Very convincingly. It was a beautiful pickup. And with that long long game, boys, <laughs> it might just be one uh, another one like the one before. Huskar and yeah. Dawnbreaker both finished BKP at the end of that fight. That was well done because they do like. Oh wait, like no, they use it for the fight. I'm, I'm stupid. That was their do first. The Tide Hunter, Dawnbreaker, Silencer, all together. Drop it down, creating the space that Huskar needs to deal the attack damage. Uh, then Dawnbreaker can follow up and get those last catches by those slows and that spin, and Disruptor really locking down people and keeping them from running away. They've got the ability to continue these good team fights. Yeah, this they team just fight need that initiation. They just with need Silencer. That initiation. There's nothing that they can do because Silencer just ulties and what are you going to do? Do you guys don't have any yules or enough cleanses on the team to keep up? Once so, yeah, once the structure picks up a tag, it might just be over. was a really good pick. We'll just have to wait and see how this continues to play. They just need their abilities to go off. They can't get caught out, which is ironic. It's the opposite of the previous game. <laughs> Uh, it's because they haven't done their their standard smoke in every three seconds and <laughs> try to kill uh, this uh, Ice Dog. Ice Dog has had a pretty free game. Eye of Skadi, Glitnir, Shadow uh, Blade. He's going for an Orchid next, so he wants another silence. I really think he needs a BKB to survive these globals, though. Dude, that one, he's just gonna get run at. Maybe he thinks there's enough frontline. But it's going to be a big question. Can OD, can Lena together dish out the damage? The rest of its team has enough crowd control to sustain, but if they don't have the damage between just these two heroes, it might be over once the game starts getting farther and Dawnbreaker has, like, uses her BKB more, Huskar gets in heart of Taras, like, are you gonna burst them down? Ooh, Huskar picked up a Vendicator's Axe, that's nice. Anti-slow? It's against all those zombies, they're not killing them fast enough, so he wants to be in range. It's just high ground defense, but do they know where the enemy is? They... Dyer's in a really tough spot. They really need to win the team fights. If they lose one more... Not enough of them have buyback to survive. Not enough have buyback. If it's a single push where everybody dies, it might just be over right there. The game would end. They have to be real careful here. This game, though, Herald of Thunder, compared to last game, what a day and night. This guy on Undying, very strong. Not, He's going for uh, an Assault Cure, so they recognize there's a lot of ma physical damage from the uh, Dire side. Uh, five brain cells, if Undying can finish that. Speaking of, Blink Dagger. It's the same it combo is. as before. They're there layering their silences again, though, so they might run out. And it's before the OD can press oh, yeah. any BKB man manage uh, meaningful they BKB. Off. Just at the end, dies with BKB. I think he pressed it at like 20% health. He just wasn't fast enough on that click. We need to get some more attack speed on that Dawnbreaker. That would also help. But that was that was well played again. Well done by the Tide Hunter getting the silence in there getting the Dawnbreaker in there. It almost feels like Disruptor's it. entire plan is to use Kinetic Field. <laughs> <laughs> is Kinetic Field your new ultimate? Now that they've killed off half the team, how are they going to use this time? They're going to go for Roshan. Roshan is going to be respawned in a minute. Well, it's really nice because you can just Tide Hunter people, get them locked into space, keep them in the Kinetic Field's range, and then just wail on them. They still got another 40 seconds before Roche is back. Uh, it seems that, uh, so right now I have uh, the Twitch overlay extension for people in Twitch. 
it, it's like a professional game for us. We got Twitch overlay, two casters. <laughs> uh, the, the production value. I didn't expect it to come together so so cleanly at the end there. <laughs> I'm not using all of the settings. Like, I don't know, you guys can probably see my mouse all the time in the middle of the screen. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, oh, same. Oh, man. Oh, man. A few minutes ago, there was a 10,000 lead by the Radiant. We are now down to a 5,000 lead. It's now so, down to a 4,000 lead. It, oh, let's back. It's, it's oh, still it's a 72% probability, win wow. probability from the Radiant. I mean, they got a they got a nice quadruple bounty rune right there. That was, uh, <laughs> that was pretty funny. <laughs> if all, right, all of the pressure is on the other side of the up. map. Yeah. Wait, OD picked up Revenant's Brooch. Uh, this is to counter enemy... Uh, nothing. This Revenant's Wait, Brooch, it? it's just for the lifesteal. So OD picked up some spell lifesteal. He's going to be using Revenant's Brooch to do some more magic damage than uh, the physical that he was, but that means if the enemy used BKB, uh, Outworld Destroy won't be able to do damage. Well, I guess he won't do damage anyway. Uh, if he activates a Revenant's Brooch, that's a very free item. Shield Rune here well, picked up on some... OD. We've got some new plays here with uh, Undying not having a neutral item yet. Wait. <laughs> no, he sent it back. <laughs> oh, he had oh just got it? <laughs> he, he sent back uh, the totem. Almost got me out. The, almost yeah, got he, me out. <laughs> he sent back the token. <laughs> he got himself a, an armor item. Uh, smoke of Deceit. These guys have learned from Van in the previous game. It's going to be a Smoke of Deceit from the Radiant once more. He's going to be caught. Any Anyone? Do they know this is coming? They Right. They don't. They had no vision. And it's going to be a smoke versus... Oh, no. It just smoke versus Damn. smoke. And Disruptor gonna was caught out. He's going to eat this. Turning oh, invisible. It's gone. But Tight Hunter oh, still no, has a chance. Oh, no. They're, they're committing to this. Every ultimate was just used from Dire Side, except for Ravage. Ravage is used as well. Oh, but they... Oh, there's again. Uh, oh, OD man. playing in melee range. Not what you want to see there. Huskar oh, is surviving on a sliver. Take... And to heal no, use, he's going to walk back into the woods and die. He's going to fall out. BKB! Dawnbreaker going in one versus two. One versus oh one, uh, two versus one now Dawnbreaker. Huskar, Huskar's teleporting in. Huskar's back in the game. Tide, Tide Hunter almost dies to the Lina, but Huskar's Lina no BKB. Going down no. On the Shadow Shaman. Shaman Shaman's gonna get out oh, the Hex protects. No way to fight. Shadow Shaman getting glimpsed back. Huskar gonna finish the job there. Oh my gosh, it's completely turning around. This is just. Look at this. Radiant crap. just needs. Radiant just needs to win. One game. They were up. I I, I can't read graphs. What is this? Um, fifth. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Was it nine k gold at one point? Chill. It was says 10, Van. Yeah, he yeah, dies at the 10, end of it, but the team, like, but now he's alive. But remember, he was jumped. He tanked an entire smoke of deceit, and then his team followed up afterwards. So the very... coordination there. Yeah, well, I'm. It, it's, it's really showing that the strength in their team fight is can Tide Hunter get the Ravage off? And if Tide Hunter can, they do pretty well. It's a disaster! Immortality! Is he with Immortality, who was hard to kill before? He's third. Wait, whoa. Let me just go through really quick. 11, 5, 5, 9. 18, 11 on OD. Uh, two, two, three, and nineteen on Elder Titan. We were talking about that. He's barely died this game, Zargler. Yeah, no, Elder Titan's been doing great. Definitely the dark horse of this lineup. Did not expect we'd be seeing these plays from Elder Titan. I saw He's got the, the pick least amount I... of deaths from both teams combined. It's amazing. It's amazing. And a really high assist with nineteen there. Been there for pretty much half of the fights. Elder Titan. Good job. Doing a really, really great the job. Silencer, he's finished on Octarine and on Agadim Scepter. So they're going to have Silencer Global Silence in every fight, and it's going to slow enemies. Once he gets the level to... Wait, does he have the... Glo the Cannot be dispelled? Cannot be, oh, it's not there anymore. So if the enemy just press BKB, this ultimate's not going to work out. Uh, okay. No more time to rest. Yo, don't unpause. It's a uh, break. pro... It, uh, <laughs> you, 
he got a pee. <laughs> so, a little bit of a pee break. Zargler, man, I, I'm sorry if I don't let you talk enough. There's just too much combat. <laughs> Actually, if we're going to take one restroom break, I'm going to run off to be right back. Go for it. Uh, while he's gone, Twitch chat, I'll have a moment. Uh, Lulu says, this is amazing. The Hex Protects from Chilanka. Kyuk, these are some crazy games. Is this a throw, Lewis? It might just be. If you take a look, buyback status, it's all gone. They had buyback status for everybody. It's not there anymore. Uh, Nikki-san, greetings, Mitko. Online, I am Tsar Potato, but greetings, Nikolai. Uh, I hope you're enjoying the show. I'm going to do Undying. This is just a redemption story here. Oh, he's got the set. That's why he's playing so well. He has the set. They go and win. If you have something on Twitch chat that you want to say that I missed before and I didn't respond to, you have like 30 seconds to a minute only. Otherwise, I'm going to continue talking. So this is, uh, Mom, can we get TI? No, we have TI. <laughs> this is grand finals situation right there. Uh, two heads is equal to two times as much skill. I'm getting ganked in real life by cats right now. Or something like that. Tsar, what time is it for you? Better if you don't live in the U.S. Wait, what time is it for you if you don't live in the U.S.? I live in the U.S. Now back to it. Everybody pause, 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 pause. I can't pause. I, I'm clicking pause. Is this Rector back? Never do that. When, when wanting to... I'll just teach him real quick. To unpause, ask if ready. Okay, go. Good sportsmanship. Uh, I was mentioning Undying. He has the set from the last... Uh, uh, from the thing. With the yeah, two heads. Big call out to the artist that worked on that. It's just Dude, a gorgeous look set. look at this beautiful set. So people, uh, Twitch chat was saying two heads doubled the skill. <laughs> So slow down a little bit. Oh my god, this graph. It is neck and neck. Look at that. We were at a 10,000 gold difference, and now we're down at 1,000. It has just been. The 1,000 in 40 minutes. This basically time. nothing. We have Ogre at home set. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just like if Dyer really pulls her things together, they could walk away with two wins. Uh, but Radiant just needs to get one good team fight in, and I really just think they need to shut out Tidehunter. If they don't have Tidehunter, they're good. They they need Shadow it's, it's, Shaman it's, 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 to preemptively hex. Like you guys, you guys need to have this Guardian Greaves on Shadow Shaman for self cleanse right away. Van, this is what he's good at. Smoke and deceit. Can he sniff out the dire, the Radiant side? D W K. They don't know this is coming. They have no. They do. They smoke. They didn't smoke underneath vision. They, I think that was oh, barely out of vision. Titan. Oh, Elder, Elder Titan's Titan gonna get eat that. Out. Smoke it. Uh, wait. Oh, they're going no, on it's not just on Elder Titan. They chose a oh. different target. They changed targets. On Dying went in to try and save Elder Titan and died. He has a fast, uh, the passive though, so he's alive instantly. We got a hex down on Huskar. Huskar's Huskar BKB fighting out. And he still has X ages for two minutes. Even the Ravage. Oh my god. Oh D, he is too, too dead. He doesn't have BKB to survive that with. No buybacks uh, left oh for the Radiant. Gosh. An ultimate from Lina instantly kills the Silencer, but it's too late. Huskar jumps in and kills the Ages. Huskar, you're in the wrong spot, buddy. One versus three plus Tombstone getting controlled by Shadow Shaman. That buyback coming in clutch. Huskar, wait, gold did he buy back in the last fight? He's got a two minute cooldown. We are now 42 42. 2000 Tight gold Hunter. lead on the Dire. No, Shiva's guard used. There we go. Shiva's after the enemy is dead. Glimpse right, back on Shadow Shaman. Shadow Shaman, and this is Shadow another Shaman dieback. Is... Yep, out. 
good can they, play can on Don Breaker. with the two stone zombies oh at all, gosh. dude. <laughs> Undying oh one versus gosh. three. He's got no ags, Undying no health gone. regeneration, no he way cannot. to survive. Kill dies, three, leaves the tombstone behind. And what behind, we were saying, we really needed to see that attack speed from Dawnbreaker, so picking up that Assault Curious was a fan. Assault Curious finished on Dawnbreaker with a harpoon. He's got plenty of an ADC. You are totally right on the attack speed there. That was a beautiful re-engagement. I almost thought it was going to be countering the radiant. I almost thought it was bad. They they like the Elder Titan tanked a smoke, but then they turned around and killed their most important player. Undying really killed before the fight even began, and then he doesn't have a second a life because he was planning on having one during a regular play, so he didn't save for buyback. I mean, it really felt like. Uh, what it, I wonder is what happened here is that Dyer was trying to learn from the previous game where they're like, you know what we did not do last time? We did not level. We did not take the time to farm. Uh, we should have probably done that a little bit more and they got a little close. They did a little too much of that and they ended up losing a lot of towers. But because they had, by the time they grouped up and started playing these games uh, and, and started coordinating a little bit better, they could show Dude, look at this last... <laughs> look at the net worth graph. Have you seen uh, anything more checkered? Look at them. Well, now they're 10,000 ahead. It is complete. The tables have completely flipped around. And it's 10,000 ahead, but it's e so beautifully evenly split. It's like dire Look rating, dire oh, rating, dire rating. Yeah, 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 yeah. It is wow. perfectly checkered net worth graph. That's insane. I've not seen that before in my life. That is you know, incredible. For, for the very first 5v5 event, we couldn't have a closer team. Uh, like, neither team is better than the other. We could not have a closer matchup than this. It's just, man. It's just neck and neck. And just. Like, Tidehunter going for a refresher. This is a one. bad idea. He's got a thousand uh, mana. He does not have the mana for ult refresher hold. But does he know that? Uh, OD is going to try and build an Aghanim's next. That eggs on OD, it's gonna give him a second life, but he's dying so quickly. I think he he needs like he needs a hurricane pike. Get himself out of position. It's just tough because they were had such a good lead and they were doing very well just because they had the lead, but now that they've lost the lead with a twelve thousand drop difference between the two. <laughs> OD blinks in to put, collect the uh uh <laughs> the rune. It, uh, people that are spectating, please, uh, no, not as much talking. Let the teams shine if you're spectating the game right now. Van taking advantage of the ninja gear, but maybe he's going to smoke the entire team out of base. We've seen this before. When in doubt, hit creeps. They're wasting their advantage right now. 12k gold lead, but if they don't go and kill something, it's going to drop out. Dawnbreaker, almost level 27. I don't think she's going to get it from this wisdom rune. So she's going to leave it for silencer. Get that level 25, plus 2 arcane curse charge. That's going to be an amazing buff for the slows that the team can provide. This is actually the second 5v5. No, this is the official one, right? This is tough. Yeah. This is tough. Oh, Huskar, Lincoln Sphere. He doesn't want to get crop controlled by anything outside of like through the bkb so he's got a bkb but he's like that's not enough i'm gonna get even more anti-crowd control and it's working out for him that dawnbreaker honestly the anti-heal from elder titan it's not enough he has a shiva's guard and a spirit vessel and i feel like you know, they can commit and kill huskar but what if they use it before bkb huskar just be no wait if lincoln's here blocks I don't think Link is your blocks uh, spirit vessel. I'm not sure how that interaction works. Hmm. But I could see that trying to avoid uh, Sanity's Eclipse from hitting. Yeah, the BKB versus Sanity's. Link is here only uh, blocks single target mm -hmm. abilities, so it'll block things from Shadow Shaman from working properly. <laughs> I hate to see Huskar almost die just killing some <laughs> random creeps. <laughs> this is supposed to be I your like frontline tank? The game. Are you kidding me? Tide Hunter farming away. He's almost finished that refresher, but if he buys it, he's not gonna have buyback gold. Speaking of buyback, take a look at that buyback status, man. See if I can organize this. 
Yeah. No, no, yes, no, no, versus yes, 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 yes. And almost, yes, 70 gold left from buyback on uh, that uh, there. Everybody smoked up. They see the OD, but they're afraid. Meanwhile, it OD balls of steel. He's soloing on solo farming on the enemy side of the map, and they think that he's being protected by backline. So they're gonna flank instead. Dawnbreaker, I think you don't need to be in the flank. You could just ulti in. Smoking to see it expires. Elder Titan, we've seen this before. Can you TL for it out? Gets stunned. Uh, we can't. Out. Gets farmed up. He's building an Ag Scepter. Still no buyback. They're spending all of their gold on that. Everybody on Dire has buyback. Everybody on Radiant does not. If Dire knew what we know, they would just win through numbers. Sacrifice their entire lineup to kill the enemy lineup and buy back and win. They don't know that yet. Elder Titan just bought... No, it's uh, Bracers from before. Huskar, nothing equipped on his si thing. Let's take a look at the items really quick. Ice Dog he has a cleanse on the Satanic. Still no BKB. He's going to die through all of that crowd control. Like, BKB used early against Ravage, against Solar Guardian, against anything that the um, Huskar does before Huskar gets his eggs would have been pretty good here. It really is undying trying to keep this team alive. OD with the 17, remember it was 16 to what? It was like 16 to 8, 16 to 10? 17 to 16. What a crazy, like, amount of deaths in a row there. The teams, very familiar that both teams have invis invisibility, carrying Dust of Appearance. Uh, speaking of both teams and invisibility, there's more Dust of Appearance on the Dire than the Radiant, even though the Radiant don't have any invisibility items. They're just ready. Amplified damage, I'm gonna call it just double damage. Uh, Shadow Shaman, finish the Guardian Grief so he can cleanse himself, then cleanse an ally. Double damage, Lena. No bottle. So this is going to just be the 35 seconds of the double damage inactive. Smoke it a seat. They want to take it. They, they want to do this. If they while, can take this, yeah. it's game over. They want to they do this need, while Lena has the smoke of the seat. But can they kill Hunter. them through Silence's ultimate? They're going to jump the Huskar. Disruptor yep, do it takes now. the smoke. Do it now. Oh, BKB. Silence. Ravage. Silencer's oh, ultimate. No. Tombstone oh, down, no. Huskar's gonna kill it very it's quickly. Over. They don't get to press it's anything. Over. He... Look at that. Wow. Undying, it you're just... the only one left. And it's dead. They just got no buyback. No they, they buyback. Just, they just need this to go might middle. actually be GG. We'll see and if the push, dire... And if they do it, it's the, over. All the lanes are kind of pushed in, so they'll have a long time to go before may... they go to the lane. They might respawn in time on the dire side. But if I look, go look through the Radiant side, Alina, no BKB to speak of, OD doesn't get to use it. So they only have one Black King bar against all of this like team fight, and they just can't use it. Dawnbreaker has a Crystalis building that uh, Daedalus up. She's going to start doing a shit ton of damage. 24 charges on Desolate. Zargler, this is, this is a scaling late game Dawnbreaker. Look at that. Man, I want to play. <laughs> <laughs> and we will. Oh, Look come on! Pick up the shit. <laughs> really? I mean, we got a Roshan's banner. Nice. R really? We got nice? two of them. Two of them saved. <laughs> you just got two. Uh, what was it that uh, the Suns fans like? Four banners? Four banners? Did you watch the rest of the clip? <laughs> <laughs> Why do they have four banners? Refresher gonna be picked up on Tide Hunter. He already has a refresher orb. They don't stack, so one of them is gonna be on cooldown while the other one is like, if you use this one, he's not gonna be able to use the other. Maybe he doesn't know that it works that way. He needs to give his refresher to Disruptor. Disruptor would. He has. This is why. Remember what I said? Disruptor, once he gets Ag Scepter, it's over. He's using his Axe after upgraded uh, ultimate to stop enemies from using BKB. They can't cleanse anything. 
Oh my god. OD is just getting caught in the front. He has to wait for his teammates to initiate, but he's trying to initiate for himself instead. They are tank undying. Doesn't have any stuns or blinks. So they they don't have any tanky initiator to to break up the fights like through uh, smokes of deceit. Disruptor going for Octarine core instead of a buyback. He just spent all of his money. <laughs> uh, Zargler, it would be hilarious if uh, the five brain cells spent all their money, don't have buybacks, lose one fight, and then lose the game. This is a 26k <laughs> gold lead, and in the professional scene, this happens. Smoke and Deceit yeah. used by Van right under enemy vision. So this is going to be very clearly visible if the Radiant were paying attention. But they're not... They're not going to pay attention. OD, farming. Does he know this is coming to him? Get out, get out, get out. The ever vigilant Van, he knows what's up. He's going to sm smoke him out. <laughs> smoke them out. I'm so stupid. <laughs> Everybody keeping a good distance from each other. The smoke of the sea didn't amount for anything. They're just gonna push front to back. Oh, oh, oh man, if they had more people there. The silencer oh, no. gets to ulti. He has a refresher. He can ulti again. Two silences coming out. Those BKBs aren't gonna do anything for you. You guys are gonna be silenced the entire time. Dawnbreaker going in. Starbreaker kills wow. three. Shadow Shaman never gets to use his ultimate. Walks back in. Uh, ultis himself dies for it. Lena can't to afford enough, to fight. No, nothing. The glimpse back, Dawnbreaker. Lena, one versus one. She's used on Dawnbreaker. It's not even close. They yeah, kill but you try to take ages out the Huskar, but the Huskar on Disruptor. Has, Sorry, yeah. It's, it's, yeah, it's gone. Uh, Lena spends her entire hel uh, health pool to kill the it's Aegis got carrier. Two next. This is the moment. This is the moment. It's, it's. He, Tide Hunter still has Shivas. What Silencer should do is just buy it back. GG well played. There it's over. It. Game is over. It. The Radiant have lost two times, and it's going to be your best of three. We'll just call it best of three because they won two games in a row. Uh, five <laughs> brain cells. Definitely enough to win in a bracket like this. This all you need is five. That was a beautiful showing. Back Man. and forth, the Radiant. A D D W K. I thought they had it in the bag, but their reluctance to buy defensive items on their two carries truly, truly came back to bite them in the ass. It's a little bit of greed, but it goes a long way in Dota. Rule of thumb, save for buyback at some point. So that might have saved you the game. That was tough because they had the mid-game lead. They needed the game to not go on that long. That is really You're on cam again. them at the end. Cool. Yeah, that is really what hit them at the end. The game just went on longer than the team was ready for uh, and had prepped for. Like, they, you know, you have some characters who do really well in the mid. When you're going around, you're ganking, you're taking up those kills as uh, OD was doing. But then the other team just rallied together, cooperated, and were able to get their combo off. <sighs> just when it came down to, down to it, you know, one tombstone and a bunch of serpents is not going to scale against all of that stun and all the damage that goes along when you can't respond to anything the enemy is doing. But I also think they, they uh, if you actually, you, we could argue that, look at the word buys that we get between the two different teams at this time. Oh, well, let's, look at, yeah, let's look at the scoreboard. Change in, there's a definite change in vision because I remember being really impressed by Dyer's vision control. Dude, it was just because like one player per team was doing all of the vision. Yeah. <laughs> but then we see we see a really big change in when Disruptor comes in and kind of wins back the vision from them. And then we don't see much vision buying for a little bit. Mm-hmm. You're right. Maybe they ran out because they didn't buy them out of, like, when they were out of stock all the time. It's hard to tell if in the post game. <laughs> okay, so I'll say, so yeah, good. well done, All right. well done to both of the teams. It was a very well played game, well played series. Uh, congratulations, uh, five brain cells for a spectacular turnaround that was incredible Ooh. from responding to that lead. Uh, close, close game. Uh, well played to both of you. Oh, uh, sorry, what did you think about ET? 
Uh, good conversation. No response. El yeah, Elder Titan. <laughs> Elder Titan. Incredibly well played. We were. Yeah, we were really easy timing we, out. We were. We were <laughs> definitely seeing a lot of those catches. Uh, just we were talking about that during the stream. Very impressed. Uh, yeah, I thought that uh, the full combo from the five uh, five head cells, <laughs> five brain cells of silence ulti, tidehunter ulti, dawnbreaker ulti, that was so much initiation catch, and they didn't have enough uh, crowd control immunity, like no, not enough BKBs on the radiant side to deal with it. That was one of the other day, a petition to the day, five brain cells into five press R. Five press R. It won them two games in a row. It won them two well, games in a row. Head. Whose idea was that? <laughs> what? What do you mean? Who, whose idea was to stack, uh, stack ultimates like that in Dream Oh, no, I just said I wanted to play Tidehunter. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I always thought okay, where the fight be began. That's what I do as silence, right? That's all. I just said like, uh, downbreaker has huge ults. That's it. <laughs> so, so, so I get, so I guess Team Facebook won. Zor. Yeah, what's up, Sorry. Ellie? Oh, uh, what was so good about my Elder Titan? <laughs> you were so good. I don't know. Well, Did you notice you had a frame contribution to it? <laughs> Did you had a yeah. brain perfect stomp on the initiating tide hunter and it won you a team yeah. fight really well. You yeah. had a really good ultimate mid, almost killed uh, the fleeing. I think it was Dawnbreaker. She she yeah. survived at like seventy or hundred health, something like that. Seventy three. It was seventy one. Seventy one. It was seventy one HP. Seventy one health. I'm so mad. It's so <laughs> close. So yeah, I think your your tide hunter was actually uh and also during the mid to late game. We looked at the kills and deaths. You were 2, 3, and 16. You had the least amount of deaths, half the deaths of the runner-up from both teams. So it was extremely efficient Elder Titan usage. Congratulations on the win, Van, and the five brain cells. Uh, what Thank inspired you. the draft of nothing but ultimates? Was it just really, hey, I want to play, play Tidehunter? Or did you have a plan? And also, why did you guys choose two AoE silencers? Um, so the game plan for me was that Centaur was banned, and so the first problem was, no, okay, we knew the Centaur will be banned. So the first problem was, what is Algichi going to play? Um, uh -huh. We were talking either Ogre, because it's pretty easy to understand. So, so you and knew Centaur was going to be banned, you guys read their minds. We knew it was going to be banned because also it's like easier um, position one for like Ice Dog to be um, accelerated. So I was just thinking, okay, what's like, we're not going to win the lane. What's going to win the fights? And then um, Algechi said, oh, you know what? I could play um, Tidehunter. At first, we wanted to put him position one and then me and Motosov to deal with Lina. But then um, in the end, Algechi said, oh, wait, the guides are like for position three. All right, you go position three then. And then, um, yeah, from that on... Might I add, uh, those guides were your guides. <laughs> so, thank you for that. So, and then from that on, uh, point on, uh, the first pick with Dawnbreaker... <laughs> no, no, only God, only God allowed. <laughs> no oh, such thing as adaptive. I, I like In some the of server, guides. we only oh. followed Sora's yeah. guide. Also, I want to add that what inspired me to uh, win the game is was Tsar's video about pressing BKB early. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I noticed that uh, OD would go in without BKB and die over and over and over, uh, which was unfortunate. Uh, yeah, for some reason, I'm just like, uh, my brain died a couple oh, of games, no. too, I guess. I don't know yeah, why you also could have banished yourself from saving yourself from the freaking tide. Hunter. Yeah, I know, but well, yeah, I can. I, I obviously I can do that under disruptors uh, ult, uh, under silences ult, under um. <laughs> it cleanses. Yeah, it cleanses. Yeah. <laughs> oh, another silencer ult, tide hunters. I just, <laughs> just want to say though, I, like, sorry, sorry. At some point, you were just like deleted by uh, Don Breaker's Q. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like 3k damage. Yeah, he throw. had like at the one point at the end game, we saw he had like over 24, 25 stacks on Desolator. The yeah, damage does add up. Oh, 
shark. If you have nothing else. Uh, uh, Izzy, say. I wanted to hear from yeah, you. Man. You died, <laughs> respawn, died, respawn, died, respawn. And it was like, yeah. you died, but you got a kill. But you were falling behind in levels. It was like level 5 to level 7 at one point. What level did you... Eight. To level 8. <laughs> to level 8. How no, did you come I back? guess he's not that good if he's, play, if he's not playing the sniper, you know? Against uh, he... OD. Yeah, I mean, I thought um, I thought Huskar was going to be crazy versus uh, the OD. The but, uh, Why? OD does pure damage, Huskar has magic resistance. Yeah, and also yeah. he deals damage uh, based on amounts of mana each other has. Uh, yeah, Husker that's just... Was questionable. <laughs> Very questionable. Well, and the build as well. At, at least the... Uh, I we I I hope we both uh, both have fun, had fun on laning on laning stage because I definitely <laughs> did because like, I also I was I feel like mid lane nobody mid, had was, fun was, mid okay you guys just killed each other over and over well, I, it was the funniest shit ever I was just like, I'm pressing left click he pressing yeah, you, you like, both right just click. press left click and yeah. pray. Yeah, and, and we just kill each other. <laughs> because, I, like, I know I don't survive, but I know if I keep like attacking him, I will kill him eventually. Because I do a lot of damage. Uh, here's the funny thing. In this game, I didn't catch so many of the kills mid, because I was like looking at other games, and then both of your health bars just evaporate instantly. I'm like, what is yeah. going on? What are you guys doing to each you other? You missed a lot. You missed a lot. That was funny. <laughs> I will. Yeah. I will. Um, I hope that uh, the my rec recording will be uploaded soon. So uh, of the second game, so I will also drop it. What is going on with that hat? I, I yeah. find it quite no. interesting. Uh, the Tide Hunter with the refreshing orb and shard at the same time. Yeah, yeah, and also not enough mana to use them. <laughs> so I don't think he knows yeah. that um, those CDs overlap. But, yeah. It was my idea. It was my idea. I didn't know it works like that. <laughs> Yeah, and also I didn't realize, but Desolator, damn, all right, I like it, I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two, two Desolators in the entire team. Mm -hmm. yeah. Double this. But, but also, so, like, if what did we I learn? really just want to shout out my team, like, Press we didn't. Yeah. That's what we learned. But first uh, off, Edinichka <laughs> stood up at like what? What was it? Like fucking five a.m. Yeah. I, I woke up at 4 a.m. for this. <laughs> yeah. He woke up at fucking 4 a.m. for this. Yeah. Uh, Elite. That's we wild. I Thank you so much. This was, this was really fun. Midway through. Let's do it again Eli sometime. First time Ella Titan. Yes. Sorry. I was gonna this ask was you, really fun. are you doing this again sometimes, please? Uh, yes. It took us a are. month to organize what? 10 people. Uh, <laughs> well, if you guys can organize yourselves better next time, maybe faster. We That'd be great. I wonder if we uh, did it once. Like we thing. can do it again. Maybe I next time we can do it like five league side. players against one Dota player. <laughs> so I have what, is, what is takeaway, have guys? They have to nerf Dawnbreaker and they have to nerf Tidehunter. And Congratulations to the five victors. You've been awarded the temporary role of champion. It's going to be the soloed out so you can look at the right hand side here on discord and you can see you guys there awesome well played well done any closing Thank thoughts you. zargler uh i want to say the teams have played incredibly well uh, again it's rare that you get such a consistent game that is neck and neck so close. fun to watch and back to back the same experience <laughs> that, I, what an honor what an honor uh, I do want to do a shout out because we all love this game that we've been playing. Uh, is that uh, Dota 2 is up for a Golden Joystick Award right now? If you uh, just go on to, to the web, look means. it up. It's a it's <laughs> oh. a game award going on right now uh, for the in the still playing category. So uh, uh -huh. go and vote for Dota 2. Uh, all right. it, it, you all did a great job. This was not what I expected out of a new matchup. You all not at all. were this very was the impressive. You could possibly and it be. was very fun. This is the level of entertainment you would want to see in a TI. So great oh. job. Be proud of yourselves. We have, it was great. We to have watch. TI at home. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> <laughs> Better than the TI finals. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I'm here for a professional esports team. <laughs> that boom is jealous. Woo. What? No.